Hi. Hey, everyone. Okay. I think I've got everything. I'm like, you know, last minute town per the norm. Hey, hello, people in the chat already. I love it. Hey, Patty. Hello, hello. Bonnie's here. Hello, Bonnie. Boat band in the house. Hello, sir. How are you? Nino Lover, good morning. Hello, hello. And Mac is here. Hello, hello. Who else? Who else? Rashida, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Elizabeth, hello, hello. Elizabeth, I got not that you need anymore, but I got more Labradorite turtles. Spoiler alert. And I have squirrels tonight. Just two. Just two squirrels. <laughs> Are we ready to get our rock on? I can't, like, actually, you know, fling the hair and all the things. But I, so, okay, so I'm doing, like, last-minute stuff. Well, not, I mean, I usually do, right? I'm always, like, right on the cusp of not making it in for my own shows that I schedule. <laughs> but I'll tell you, there's always something that happens, like, right before the show. And today, I have this whole, like, duck fiasco. Um, I had, I'm trying to sell some ducks, right? We have so many ducks. We Well, okay, I didn't even sell them. I had tried to give them away. <laughs> I had 10 ducks, okay. Drakes, let me, okay, hold on. Let me rewind that because we have way more than that. We've got like probably like 20 ducks and like half of them are drakes and we had to get rid of some because um, they're aggressive with this, if you know what I'm saying. They're not very nice. They don't buy them dinner or like that. Um, and they rough them up pretty good. So we had to get rid of a bunch of them. So I put them on Craigslist for like $15 and no one wanted them. I put them on again a month later for $5 each and no one wanted them. So finally I put them up for free and I got bites galore. And no one followed up. What is with that on a lot of these like selling sites, Craigslist, the marketplace or whatever. And like, even on eBay, you get a lot of bites sometimes, a lot of watchers on things. I don't know why people can't steal the deal. So, I mean, and they're messaging me and everything too. A herd of ducks is right. It's a, it's a flock. Okay. That's the correct term <laughs> for ducks. Um, and so a gaggle of ducks, I think that's a, it's a geese. I should know, right? Because I have those too. Um, I got my guard goose, Rufus. Anywho, so finally, it was like, no one, this has been like weeks, if not months, but it must have been months that I've been trying to sell these stupid drakes. And then it all came down to today where I had two people like, I could come right now. When can I come get them? Blah, blah, blah. So, Shriker, hey, yeah, hit that thumb. If y'all don't mind, I'd appreciate it. Um, so, Today, I saw I get these two people like, fight, like, when can I come? I can come first. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, whatever. You just Whoever can come first can have these ducks because I'm just trying to get them out of here. I'm so sick. And tell me if you guys have had this issue on Craigslist or Facebook or any like of the local sale places where you set everything up and they just don't show. I am sick of that happening. So when this lady was like, tell me when I'll be there. I was like, come now. <laughs> so she shows up. And I was under the impression she wanted all of them. Well, she had six. So they took six, her and her husband, I presume, took six and left. So we still had the four left. And the other person that wanted them, who was like, went ghost mode on me mid-texting, was like, come, I, I have four left if you want them. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll definitely come right now. It's like, all right. So like 40 minutes later, I hear nothing. Call. <laughs> I'm like, hey. This is Laura with the ducks. Are you going to come get the ducks? Or? He goes, oh, well, let me give you to my boyfriend. So I talked to the boyfriend. He's like, oh, yeah, we're leaving now. We should, you know, we're leaving right now. Two hours go by. Two hours. And I was like, they're not showing up. I just sent a text message back like, please don't come anymore. Like, I got to feed them dinner and put them to bed. Yeah, the ducks. Uh, so thanks, but no thanks. Oh, thank you. Let me show those off because I'm sure you guys don't care to hear about ducks. This one was, um, I don't know where I got this one. I can't remember. Maybe eBay. And then this was actually from Tiffany. That's Praiseolite, aka Green Amethyst in uh, Sterling in a nice weighty silver setting. I love this ring. 
I wore it to the playground today, which is like the most ridiculous place to wear a ring like this because I couldn't grab on stuff. I ended up just taking it off and putting it in my pocket anyway. And then total side story. Okay. Let me tell. Oh yeah. Those Canadian geese. They're actually called Canada geese, Bonnie. <laughs> and they poop everywhere. Um, tell me, tell me in the chat or in the comments, if you're watching this later on replay, have you ever dropped something in the toilet? after the toilet's been used. Be honest. Has it happened to you? This happened to me one time years ago. My cell phone went into the toilet. Um, I won't get too detailed on it. But today, I just bought a ring. Okay, so today. No, yesterday I went to this, the jewelry, the International German Jewelry Show in Northern Virginia. It was awesome. I got a bunch of stuff. I made a haul video today, okay? So I pull out this one ring that's like a really light colored Labradorite ring. I like the deck story. Yeah, I, you know, and that, okay, just to finish that really quick. Once these people were being all weird, I was like, you, sh you shouldn't have these ducks. Like, these are my ducks. You can't have them. I need to put them to bed, okay? I don't know what would happen to them anyway. She said she had a pond to put them on, but which would be like lovely. But now I question the responsibility of the owner because they can't even text me back. So I'm like, are you really, do you just want to take them and just like release them on a pond? And I think that's going to be the end of that because they have no shelter. They're going to get eaten by a predator in like a day. So anyway. All right. So back to the ring thing. Yeah, Bren. Yes. <laughs> hey, Bren. Um, so, okay. So I got this ring, right? It was just like set in four prongs. These are my prongs. Well, I have children, right? I have two young children. Number two is potty trained, but he doesn't, he doesn't do the wiping thing so well. So as I'm helping him wipe, the stone just pops out of my ring and goes right into the dang toilet. It's like, are you kidding me? This was when I was debating on if I should keep it or sell it. So then I was just like, oh, better it happen to me than any of you guys. Because I'd be pretty upset if I sold you a ring and the stone popped out. And extra upset if it popped out into a poopy toilet. So <laughs> I'm glad it happened to me and not you guys. Dropped her, my girlfriend dropped her phone in the toilet. It was an auto flush. Oh no! What happened? I mean, obviously it's not going to actually go down the toilet. Mine, when it happened to me, hey, Quinn, you came in at a good time. When it happened to me, I had it in my like back pocket. You know, like you do with phones. I just had it tucked in my back pocket. I had the pants down. I'm getting really TMI tonight, but it's starting early. Here we go. And when I like went to like put the pants back on, the phone just popped out of my pocket and just went straight into the toilet. <laughs> it's like, no. Nah! It was okay though. I don't think I don't think it suffered any damage. I don't think. Now that I'm thinking back on it, like what did happen to that phone? I don't recall other than it getting immediately rinsed off which is probably the worst thing you can do is add more water to the situation but there you go anywho oh no that's terrible i dropped my glasses off my face more than once <laughs> i can see that i can see that actually it did go down the toilet how what is this like industrial strength toilet that's eating cell phones that's crazy oh my gosh that is rough there's no what do you do that you're just there it goes there goes everything you need to replace your phone too because if you even have like a sim card bye see you later bye bye sim card i'm going back up to see if anybody else is confessing in the scent the oh in the sauna in my say do you mean sauna the sauna can once lost a screwdriver gone forever santa can what is that what is a Santa can? Are you just, is that what you're calling a toilet? I've never heard that term. A screwdriver. Now, see, that's another one that I feel like, how did you lose it? Like, how did it, how? <laughs> I don't understand. How? Because that doesn't flush either. All right, what else do we? Oh, Christy. Hello, Christy S says, we have ducks and chickens and turkeys and guineas and sheep and geese. What kind of geese do you have? Um, and what kind of ducks? We have geese, ducks, and we have quail. 
in our farm animal. Oh, Patty lost her glasses in the toilet too. <laughs> Going back up. Yeah, those things, those Canadian geese. Okay, I think I got everybody's confessions. Construction site big blue box. Oh, like a porter potty? Is that what you mean? Because God, no, I would never reach back down in there for anything. You could not pay me to try to retrieve anything from one of those. Just saying. I guess maybe if it was my phone. <sighs> That's a tough call, man. I would probably do my best to wrap as many layers of toilet paper or a bag or just literally anything to try to cover my hand a bit before I had to like actually reach in. That's far worse. I'm just going to say it. That's far worse. <laughs> oh, you did say porter potty. I've never heard of that. A sonic cam. Never heard of that. Yep. Lost all our stuff. Oh man. I didn't even think that toilets could swallow your whole phone, but now I know. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Not doing those. So how is everybody doing tonight? Other than the fiasco with the ducks, I've had a nice weekend because I was gone all day yesterday by myself and it was great. I, I'm, I'm doing the video. So here's the thing though, is like with the, these gem shows, I don't like you to really pull out cameras or anything too much. So I sneaky snuck like some footage, but I couldn't really record in there, which is what I wanted to do. But they frowned upon that last time. <laughs> they said, nope. So uh, I didn't, but um, I did do like a before I went and then I did a haul. So that's going to hopefully be out this weekend. And then the actual stuff that I got, like the crystals will be for sale next week. The jewelry probably like I'm going to be on two different channels in like this month. One is going to be Moon Goddess and then the other one is going to be Tiffany's. Cool. Fine. So um, yeah, that's a good idea. Lid down. China, are the Chinese as, like, the, the Chinese geese, let me specify, are they as aggressive as I've read? I've heard the Chinese geese and the African geese are, like, ultra aggressive. Um, and then the Pomeranian, that's what my son wants. He wants a gray one. I want a buff one. He wants gray. Nice having Laura time. Yes, it was. Uh, you don't understand, guys. My week was so long, unbelievably long. Unbelievably long. I was looking all like forward all week to Saturday because I mean, I've had the kids all week, which like, I understand people do this all the time. So I hate to complain because it's like, whatever, but usually I get a break. My mother-in-law usually watches the kid, uh, the kids once a week. So I can do all my stuff here and like catch up on like this part of my work. And I didn't get that. And then one of the days uh, my husband worked to fix my car after his work was over and he was out of the house till like nine o'clock at night. So it was just, it was a very long week. Anywho, Mrs. Kojak. Hello. How are you? When I was deployed in Iraq, one of my soldiers dropped their wallet in a porter potty, had to retrieve a military ID. You cannot leave that there. Oh man. That is brutal. And now, did you guys, like, make fun of him relentlessly? Because I feel like that's the natural next step <laughs> after that happens. Oh, man. That sucks. But, yeah, you can't leave on, especially when you're deployed. Mookie. Mookie's here? Mookie. Hey, Mookie. Went to the Renaissance Fair yesterday and found cool. Oh, it's up? Really? Found cool stands at the lady selling pottery. Cool. That's what I want to do. I'm going to make some stands out of my polymer stuff. <laughs> Ew, chewy, gross. Hey, I mean, listen, you got to do what you got to do. Um, And my guess is that he's dealt with far worse. So <laughs> that's just my guess, though. Okay. Well, shall we, guys? Oh, one of them bites our clothes, but they are not full grown yet. Oh, the geese. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, guess, I don't know how to like curb the aggression of a goose. My so mine is like ultra aggressive when they're broody, like in the mating season, if you will, in spring. He's a jerk. His name is Rufus. He's a jerk. Um, <laughs> make me some. I will work. That's like that's on my list. Hey, Cat D. She says happy Sunday, rock people. 
Um, it's on my to-do list. But yeah, so Rufus, he's a jerk. But he's like, during the year, he's not so bad. Like, if you get close, he kind of like puts his head down and like tries to intimidate you. But in the spring, he will attack you. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are or how loyal he is. He will attack. He's a jerk. I had this whole video. Would you guys, tell me, would you be interested in seeing any of my old farm videos? Because I have like a whole video devoted to Rufus and showing him being ridiculous. And like, this is, I don't know, he tried to attack my dog and stuff. It's pretty, it's kind of a funny video. But I don't know if anybody like really cares to see farm content. It's the whole reason I started a whole new channel was to like, you know, get away from the farm content. But if you guys want to see it, you know, what can I do? My rocks were here when I got home. Oh, yay! And put them on stands. Nice. That reminds me. I have some credits to give out. Um, first of all, if you guys do an unboxing video of any of my stuff, you get a $5 credit. Patty did one. Thank you, Patty. So Patty gets five bucks credit. Credit. And then Mac, I owe, I think, $6.00. Just because I sent his stuff early. And so you have a credit too, Mac. Which me, I just send it in a bag instead of a box. I just refunded him the difference. Or I'm crediting it in the difference. So um, if you're new here, which I don't think anybody is. Oh, did you? What kind of in hydro? I really want one. I have one, but you cannot. The bubble I only found like one time and I can't find it. I want an obvious one. We have Peking White Runner, Runner Golden Golden Buff Cascade. I've never heard of that one. Rune and Khaki Campbell. That's my son wants a rune really bad. He wants mallards, but he'll settle for a rune. Uh, hey Karen, welcome in. I'm gonna do ten unboxing videos. Do it, Mookie. I didn't say there's a limit. Let's say okay. We'll say limit two. <laughs> well, I mean, there's not like you know, just space them out. You know, you can do ten, but you know, give me like. Let's do like two a week, all right, or something like that, at most. Um, what was I going to say? Lots of water in it, but you had to shine a light there to see it. Oh, that's like that agate one I had that someone bought. I don't remember who got that one. They're just so cool. Never knew there's so many different kinds of ducks. Whoo, Rashida, let me tell you, I did not know either until I wanted some of my own. I was like, you mean the white ducks or the brown ducks? <laughs> There's a lot of ducks out there. My son is obsessed. He could tell you anything. He's like obsessed with space and ducks. Um, turtle credit or coral credit. It's all on what you want to spend it towards. All right. Okay, so here. Yes, I have squirrels. I have squirrels. I only have two squirrels tonight, though. Two squirrels and I have three turtles. Labrador turtles. And I have a cat. No one really cares about a cat, but I have it. Um, all right, so let's run over policies super duper quick. If you're new here, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to go to this camera over yonder and look at the whole table of crystals. If you see something on the table that you want to see up close to the camera and talk about, uh, put it in the chat and I will make a list and we will go in order of the requests. Um, I stray a little bit sometimes just if like somebody really wants to see something, but they have to leave soon or something like that. Uh, but for the most part, we'll just go and order the list. Uh, shipping starts at $8. That gets you a flat rate envelope for shipping. And I can hold it indefinitely or not, or I can send it right away. Um, but that's generally where shipping starts is $8. If you want me to upgrade you to a box, which is $14, I can do that too. I have numerous bags and boxes on my shelf over yonder that I'm just holding and filling. And then they get sent out once they're full. Um, or whenever you guys tell me, hey, Misty, welcome in. So there's that. Uh, I think that's it. Also, I invoice generally the morning after auctions to, depending on when we end tonight, I might do it tonight. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we have time. So yeah, let's turn the camera around. Hey, Jules. Hey, Mayor. <gasps> Meredith, that ring. Uh, I don't know where it is right now. I have... I tried to message you on Instagram, or not message you, but I left a comment. I don't know if you saw it or not. But I have, hey, Stacy, welcome in, new face. How are you? I um, I have a ring, a cameo ring, similar to the one that I got that will be for sale, but it's not for sale tonight, so we won't worry about it. Okay, hopefully, Carly, I was thinking about you. Were you the one asking me for a moonstone bracelet? 
like forever ago. Let me know. Because I might actually have it now. All right, let's flip this camera around. Here we go. Here's the table tonight. Here, and the other thing too, y'all, I have some stuff on the table that is not a crystal. And I'm hoping you all will be receptive to it, but I guess we'll see. Uh, like a like a moonstone. I was just wondering if you were asking me for a sterling and rainbow moonstone bracelet because I got one myself, and someone had asked me if if they could like if I could get one for them, and I can't remember who it was. Um. Oh, me too. I love cameos. The person I bought it from asked me if I was Italian. <laughs> I was like, do I look Italian? She's like, you have a love for cameos. It's like, well, that is true because I did buy two cameo rings. Right then and there. Aw, oh, thanks, Jules. Yeah, hit that thumbs up, y'all. If your hand is idle, you need something to do with it. There you go. All right, so here's the array today. So these over here, I freaking love these. All right, heads up. The expensive dudes on the table tonight are the smallest ones. These spheres, well, I won't say the most expensive. I just mean size compared to price. These spheres, which are epic and I love them, and these spheres back here are the expensive ones. So I do have those. I'll pick up the camera in a hot second. I'm intrigued by the clear spheres in the back. Yes, those are cool too. There's um, actually, let me flip this, that guy on. <laughs> There's a fairy in it. Hopefully y'all can see that. I got these like acrylic stands and I'm such an idiot. I got a bunch of these and I opened a pack and they flung all over my room and now I can't find half of them. But I do have some more of those that are, some are smaller. All right, here we go. Let me flip everything around, huh? Move this over. Okay, here we go. We have palm stones galore. And the part of it that I hate to admit, but it's true, is I can't identify a couple of them. It's driving me nuts. But there's some like that blue one right there. No idea. But I do have palm stones. We've got the little pyrite tumbles. We have sunstone, which you can kind of see there. They're very... Okay, the two on either end are very, very high quality. The one in the middle has more of a matte finish and it bugs me. And we'll do that one for cheaper. There's the last piece of florid I have. I have this epic, beautiful, amazing quartz cluster that I'm obsessed with. We have the little fairy. And this, this is glass right here. It's fairy in glass. And then this is also an angel in glass. We've got black moonstone over here. Those guys right in the center, that's the rutilated quartz. It is not lapis. I, I'll show it to you, but it's, it's not. Um, so the rutilated quartz, we've got red and some copper rutilated quartz. It's awesome. I've got a couple more of these blue calcite spheres, if anyone's into those. We've got these grape agate pieces that I've had forever. Peach moonstone. Uh, Labradorite. I'm trying to see if I can get it to flash. There's, that's the one with the purple in it. Uh, black moonstone, black moonstone. Peach? Peach moonstone. What else? Okay, over here we have this iron included quartz. One flower agate tower left. Strawberry quartz, aka red aventurine with these cute little silver suns and moons on them, and I love them. Squirrels, just two of those. We've got three tall blue arfedzonite towers in the back there. And today... We can maybe talk about the giant quartz tower if anyone's interested. Maybe. If anyone's interested. Maybe. I'm still in debate about it, but hey. Pyrite heart is still on the table. Hematite hearts are on the table. Those are six bucks. I'm sorry, magnetite. Six bucks for a pair if anybody wants those. You can claim it at any point in time. These are $10. You can claim those at any point in time, too. Those are selenite hearts with carvings in them, a.k.a. satin spar. Uh, the dichroic glass marbles, handmade, hand-blown by someone that I know in the disc golf community. Absolutely awesome. Labradorite turtles. Super flashy. The weird cat who's taking a nap. Turtles, turtles, palm stones. I think that's everything. I think we got it all. Okay. We set that guy back down. I'm just going to like sneak peek these really quick because I'm obsessed. 
There's a little faux sphere opal in a couple of these in the middle. They're just so darn cool. And then check out the back. This is all hand done. I met someone through the uh, disc golf community that blows glass. And I was like, you know what? I got a lot of sphere lovers. Let me get a few from these of these from you. And we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. I thought it was a fish. I guess he could be a fish. You turn him around. Now he's a fish. Wait, that's the wrong fish son. Swim back to your little pond, fishy. Okay, what is this? The palm stone that's cream and blue. Good question. This is, a, I'll show you really quick the ones I can't figure out. It looks like an agate of some sort, but it, this banding is freaking weird. I've never seen this before. It's definitely, it's got to be an agate. It's got to be something in the agate family or, you know, Cal Sydney. There's two of them like this, this guy and then this guy. I've just never seen it before. And then this is the one that I can't figure out. At first I thought demurderite, but it's too blue. Like it's too blue. This is, here I actually have some on the table. This is demurderite right here. This has like veining in it. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know what it is. It's definitely not lapis. Um, oh, here's my flashlight. Got my flashlight. It's definitely agate. I just don't know what kind. It's see-through. It might be a blue quartz, but I don't, I can't call it that with any sort of confidence. So I'm not gonna, but I do have some fun ones on the table. We've got this little, he's got a little boo-boo on the side, but really flashy. Labradorite, same here. We got some lab palms. This is actually, believe it or not, appetite. It's just super duper duper dark and saturated. Same with that one. Okay, let's see. No, because this is this is appetite. It's so dark. This looks practically black. This is also a really dark appetite. It's not appetite. I don't know what it is. And appetite is usually pretty opaque. If you see, can you even tell? It like aura's blue around the light, but it's or like a teal color. But it's not translucent. This thing is totally translucent. I have no idea. I love that uh Labradorite is translucent. That makes me happy. Anyway. <laughs> turtle herd, turtle herd. All right, hold on. Let me go back up to the top. Lindsay Ann is in for turtles. All right, here we go. Let me make me a list. All right, up to the top. We've got Lab Sphere. Woo! That thing is epic. I don't even remember how much. Does this have a price on it? Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> no, what? What did I miss? What'd you say? The rock stains were my shower curtain rings. Those could totally be used, probably. Oh, yeah, I use the uh, napkin rings, Christy. That's what this is back here. That's a napkin ring. As a matter of fact. Did I miss something? There are lighter, uh, lighter Italians in Northern Italy. I mean, I guess I could look next. I might have Italian in my blood. I'm like a big old European mutt, so. I'm intrigued by the clear spheres. Okay, so... Did you want to see those ones? Let me know. All right. So lab towers, towers of all sorts. So many towers. Squirrel. Squirrel's like one of those words that I always screw up when I'm spelling it. Uh, calcite spheres and other spheres. Okay, I'll just put spheres. How about that? Calcite first. I think I forgot to price that one out. Whoopsie doogle. There's one that I see that reminds me of Jello mold. A Jello mold. One in the back. I'm not sure which one you're talking about, but I like where your head's at. Where's the kitty? I'm putting the kitty on the list. Would you like it or not? Kitty, turtles. What else we got? 
And just wanted to say, y'all, I know there's a lot of auctions happening tonight, so I sure appreciate y'all being in this one. Thank you so much. And if you are auction hopping, let me know if you get anything cool. Lots of different goodies. Totes. I want a heart. You know, I'll have hearts next week in Mrs. Kojak. Oh, wait, you want one of these hearts? Yes. A selenite one? Ten bucks if you want it. Just verify in the chat. Write heart ten or something like that. So I know. And I'll write it down. I also love decor glass. What stone is... Okay, we talked about that one. Wait, what is this in reference to? You mean all of them? Or is that directed towards Elizabeth? Do, do, do. Okay, what did I miss? Did I miss anybody? Split the turtles between Mac and me and we'll call it a day. Appetite, maybe. Oh, that blue one. I really don't think it is. I don't think it's appetite. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Tall... Tall, dark orange brown too in the back. You must be talking about these guys. Are you talking about the, the cluster towers back there? Do let me know. We'll do those with the towers. Turtles are cute. I agree. Teresa, welcome in. Turtle herd. Is it she light? I guess it could be. I haven't seen she light in this color. I thought she light was a bit more opaque. But maybe. Uh, let's see. The white blue. The white blue. Are you talking about this one? The spheres? All right. Semi opaque years ago, I used to buy Appetite in a medium blue color. Maybe it's. Maybe. Maybe. Small lab palms. Okay. Put palms on there. Heart 10. You got it. You got it. Thank you. $10 selenite heart. I guess we could call it gypsum too if we want to get really, you know, specific. Yes, Carly, you got it. Mag pair. Look at <laughs> it's so amusing, like trying to pick these things up. Wondering. Oh yeah, look, they they have a really strong hold, in case you can't tell. Uh, okay. Got them. I too want kitty. We'll show the kitty. I'm sorry guys, this is taking me a minute because my uh chat keeps jumping. I got four of those things. Can't stop playing with them. What you need is like a whole bracelet. Now my question, I don't know if I can do this now. I don't think I have enough. Now if I get Carly's in the mix. Yeah, then I'm good. As I smash the turtle. Nope, I still need like one or two more. Well, it's kind of working. See, and then you wear that around. And you use it to test fake metals when you go thrifting for jewelry. It's wonderful. It's not conspicuous at all. Oh my God, look at me breaking everything. I'd be so, if I smashed one of those things, I would be so pissed off at myself. I can't even tell you guys. They are beautiful and I'd be so mad if I broke one. Okay. Tra -la -la. Thanks, Teresa. What is that silver looking piece by the squirrels? Oh, you're talking about the pyrite heart. He's beautiful. This one is so that's a $62 one. He was in the sale last week. He's up for grabs at 62, but if there's multiple interests, we'll go into a bid. But at any point in time, you can you can you know bring him into the picture. Um that was that question. <laughs> Two is lost one. I need more. Oh man, the new flat stones that you were unsure of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wilma Flintstone vibes totally. You need a lot. Wear those around your neck for sure. Hey, Denise, welcome in. Need a Rama. 
The pirate and the squirrel, please. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> pirate. And you're singing my lovely words. I love pirate. Love, 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 love. Oh, me too, Mac. That's where I stuck mine. But I found out that if they get too close together and they smash into each other, they just like collapse to the ground and take everything off the fridge with them. That's what I learned the hard way. <laughs> so I keep them apart, but they do totally work quite nicely. All right, let me get these things in bags super quick and we'll start, we'll start showing some stuff off. How about that? All right, Nino's got the, the necklace. I got your necklace, Nino, it's in your box. Mrs. Kojak will give you the selenite. Selenite heart from Mrs. Kojak. And then who else? Mrs. Carly. Janine, of course. Welcome in. How are you? What are you doing, computer? No, we're not having a freaking security scan in the middle of the show. That's so annoying. I despise those things. Because I, I don't even think I have it, like, set up anymore, the security thing. It just runs and it tells me I have threats. And it's like, do you want to subscribe? And then maybe we'll remove them? Like, no, please go away. All right, and then Janine claimed something. I'm sorry. Janine said she wants some spheres too, right? Yes, you got it. Absolutely. Let's curl this out. Why does my pen look blue? Janine. Some spheres. Okay. Cat wants magnetite too. Of course. You asked for two pair of magnetite. Was that, you mean additionally? Or do you mean, because didn't you get some last week? You mean in addition to the ones from last week? Yes. Please confirm. Because I do believe you have some already from last week, but I could be wrong. But I can check. But if you just want them regardless, then I will definitely add them to your bag. Mag pair. Yes, please. Okay, you got it. All right, that's it. Those are gone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Mag pair times two. You got it. All gone. All right, let me throw these in our box really quick. Okay, cool. All right, let's do it. Let's see what's up first. I already forget. Lab Sphere. Lindsay, are you here still? Doing all right. All right, this one is 81. 81. And this is the one that has that like dusty kind of purpley color in it. So here we go. We're off to the races, y'all. Awesome. Okay. And this whole side is flat. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it. But it's a lighter purple. It gets a little dark over here when you hit it in the right light. But it's like a kind of, it's like a dusty purple. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not overly purple, though. It's a dusty kind of purpley color. And then it's got highlights. Of, there's a little rainbow highlight there. There's a little blue back there. we got another rainbow right there. A little guy. Am I frozen? I hope not. We have a lot of Schiller going on in the back here. <laughs> Don't look. She can't look. Her screen's frozen, apparently. And what else we got? What else can I show you that's cool about this sphere? Oh, we're back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. Oh, there's some. Okay, there we go. There's the big purple spot in the back. There's the purple. Now this is this is purple. Like I wouldn't call that any other color. That's very purple to me. It's a little more saturated on like in real life than it is on the screen right now. Let me move this sticker out of the way. He's like right in the good spot. If I can pull him off. Get out of here. Get out of here, sticker. Put you on a unimpressive spot so I can show this off a little bit. It's a good one, just saying. 
Ah, <laughs> Sally's in for 81. Thank you, Sally. I don't think you have a big purple Labradorite sphere, do you? Not to my knowledge. This is a one and done, y'all. I don't know that she's got one in purple. All right, let me highlight your highlight you there. Hope that hubby doesn't peek at your screen. I mean, it's good though. It's good, Elizabeth. And it's big. This is a big sucker, too. <laughs> Sorry, you looked. All right. Well, if no one else is going to challenge Sally tonight, we'll go ahead and call it to her. Going once. Going twice. Cat D doesn't believe you on that one and done thing. Final warning. Snipe it if you dare. Last chance. And we are sold. Sold to Sally. You got it. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. Woo. She doesn't have purple. She needed it. Sally is scary. All right, awesome. Lab yeah. That's the type of thing that I would like go into a show and be like, hey, can you show that? And with no intention of buying it, I just want to ogle it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But it's so pretty. Okay, let me put it in your box. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Needed that. You know? Well, I appreciate you getting it, though, because let me tell you, y'all need to help me offset my expenditure from yesterday. Whew, that was an expensive trip. That was so fun, though. All right, we'll start with this little dude. So these guys... All right, this one's going to be an, an 18 start for the little guy. These are quartz, but they are, they're iron included. So they're kind of, they almost look like natural. Um, uh, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? Citrine, thank you. Natural citrine, but they are not. They're actually iron included. It's kind of, so, oh gosh, it's a complicated when it comes to coloring of quartz, but inclusions can give it color or it can be like altered on a molecular scale. <laughs> uh, you did um in any case so in this and you can really see it in the big one but here we've got inclusions and like if you get up close here actually you know what let me pull this guy down let's get our magnifying friend see if i can show you this way see how like it's inside of the crystal there's like a big old red splotch that's what's going on with this one. But the whole thing is like lightly colored, this natural citrine kind of color. There's the back. The back is a lot more orangey, if you will. There's some more on the side there. Darren and Delilah. She cannot be tempted by more squirrels. All right, so this one is going to be the $18 one. Free form, or not free forming, free standing. All right, next one is 20. And this guy is more of a dark, like a dark, uh, it's like a really dark orange. My camera, like, you know, okay, there. That's the color back there. This is the color it is. When I bring it forward, it changes it more to a yellow, but it's more of a dark orange, and it looks like a taco right now for some reason. But anywho, see, this is not it. It's the orange is not the yellow. So this one's 28. The first one's 18. This one is 28. And then the last one is 38, which is the best one. The second one's not bad either. This one's my favorite, though, because you can really see the inclusion in here. It's not technically citrine. Okay, there we go. And they all do. They all stand up. 
it's more akin to a fire quartz, I guess you could call it, because it's it's iron included. Like iron oxide, like the hematite. Hematoid quartz, I guess we could call it that. That would also work. But if you look up, let me see if I can really get a good example of it. Oh, man, it's just not showing it. Ah, oh, it drives me crazy. It's so cool, especially this, this point right here is really good. My nail has a big old crack in it. Oh, and there's like a little hidden pocket in the back there, too. There's some more quartz uh, sparklies back there. All right, so there we go. That's closer again to the color. So there, these, this one's like a reddish, a rusty red color. And there it is. And it's, you know, sizable. Just curious, how did you learn so much about stones? Uh, I've just been interested in them for like, a very long time. Um, my first love was jewelry. I like learned a lot about jewel stones inside of jewelry and just kind of branched out from there. Um, and I collected rocks when I was really young, but honestly, I didn't know like as much about different kind of like as much as I do now. That's more, I don't know. It's just like over time you learn a stone here or there and you just kind of commit it to memory, I guess. Some stones I learn and forget about, <laughs> but I try to try to remember. Um, hi, Faith, welcome in. So yeah, and I, I'm still learning and I definitely, I'm not good on the whole, anyone here will tell you, I'm not very good at the whole uh, like metaphysical properties of them. I'm more into the beauty of them where, you know, how they grow. And I just think they're fascinating and gorgeous. And I do, I don't know, I believe in the metaphysical powers of them to a degree. I think for me, though, it's more of like uh, they bring you joy and happiness, brighten up your space. I think they're all mood elevators. That's my personal opinion, <laughs> but just the ones that speak to you, though. Um, oh, thanks, Rashida. That's very sweet. Oh, Kristen, you want the $18 one? You got it. Awesome. Thank you. Let me let me put it in a bag for you. And a uh, friendly reminder, y'all, if you haven't purchased from me before, my email is on the screen. Just shoot me your um, your YouTube name and your PayPal email so that I can invoice you. I will call this the hematoid quartz. OK, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Kristen. I appreciate it. Thank you. Got written down. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Look, I'm a one man show. There's a lot of conversation sometimes. Sometimes I miss things. Okay. Just running back up and making sure that um, I didn't miss anybody. Okay, cool. Yeah, right, Mac? <laughs> My bank account doesn't like him so much. I know what you mean. All right, this guy, this is the last one I have on the table. He's marked at seven. I don't even know. That's definitely not my price. That must have been maybe what they were suggesting it was priced at. Maybe that's the wholesale price. I bought these in a lot, so I don't know. But we'll pull him off the sticker. We'll pretend that that never happened. And instead, we'll go ahead and start this last flower agate tower at a dollar. Starting bit a buck. I, I truly don't remember what these are selling at. Ooh, and he has got a pocket. He's got a pocket in there. Sometimes also called a bug. But I hate calling it that. I think that sounds like a very unpretty word. <laughs> Ooh, look at the banding. This one's a good one. How did we not get to this one? How did that not happen? Um, where's the turkey gobble? Oh, well, no, Kristen's purchased from me before. She's bought jewelry, I believe. Not crystals, but she's got jewelry. But we'll give you a little turkey gobble for Kristen anyway. <laughs> All right, Babette's got high bit at 10. Y'all, I've like, 
Kristen has a very lovely jewelry channel. She does jewelry and she also sells like like Swarovski uh, crystal jewelry and things like that. I've been following her for a very long time. She was one of the first channels that like I started following as a matter of fact. And she's good to people. And she's got these crazy long nails that make me wonder how she does it. But somehow it works and she pulls them off and they're always awesome. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Coach Jackson at 12. Kristen D's in at 14. So look at her. Look at her beautiful profile picture. You can even see the nails in that picture. She pulls them off. They look fabulous. And she's got good jewelry. Just saying. All right. Babette's at 15 with high bid. You'll get hit by, wait, what? You'll get by with it this time. Oh, I listen, I did a gobble. <laughs> Look at these little, okay, what even is that? That's so cool. Look at these things in here. What is happening? Those are inside the crystal. Again, this is flower agate. I'm trying to, Ooh, come on, come on, agate now. Do, 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 do. And by the way, Chris, um, Kristen, I almost called you Crystal. By the way, Kristen. I do like $5 credits if you do end up doing an unboxing video if you buy anything and you can totally use it towards jewelry if you want. Do you see what I'm talking about? What are these weird like otherworldly things inside of the thing? Mrs. Kojak said 17. That goes for anybody, y'all. I do $5 credit if you do an unboxing video of crystals or jewelry. I'm trying to get it to show. Come on, camera. Do you see what I'm talking about, though? There's like little weird bubblies growing in there that's so weird and cool and neat it's inside of there all right so that's that mrs kojak's at 17 with high bid lucid welcome in i think everybody else is out so we're gonna go ahead and start calling it going once yes mookie pookie I think of you every time I look at the one that I can't sell. <laughs> Going twice. And ignore my nails, y'all. They're like busted up. They are busted. Final warning. And we are sold to Mrs. Kojak for fifth. I'm sorry, 17. Thank you so much. Awesome. And that is the last one. I don't have any more flower agate. Sorry, y'all. That was, that's honest. That might be my favorite one because of those weird things inside of there that look like little, I don't even know. It looks like petals in smoke. It's kind of cool. Okay, let me get that in her bag. Mrs. Kochak. And by the way, thank you guys, whoever um, purchased from the videos I uploaded this past week. I really appreciate it. It gave me a little extra funding for this weekend, which was definitely needed. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that show was so awesome. Okay, what's next? Oh, let me get Mrs. Kojak's name off the screen. If I can get it. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, we're still in the towers. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, where's my letters? Here's my letters. Do, 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 do. My little cheap letters. I need something a little nicer than this. And maybe one day that'll actually happen. But for today, it's still paper. Pardon my, you know, embarrassing letter sheet. Um, and let's do these little tap. These things are super duper cool. Kind of show them. They're all going to be the same price. They're all just about the same size. These are strawberry quartz, aka red aventurine. It is in the quartz family. These are all like sandblasted with this little design and then colored silver. They're just like little moon and stars. I just thought they were the cutest little things. I will keep whatever's left over. These guys are all. How much are these? So these are 18 for the tower, the star moon tower. These are all 18 bucks. Buy it now. I'm just going to show them all. That one's A. This one's B. This one's got a little bit of the hematite in it, too. Anytime you see, like, that orange or red inside of quartz, generally it's a hematite inclusion. Sometimes the pattern gets a little funky, so just be aware of that. 
That one's going to be B. Let me know what letter you'd like. This one's a little slightly taller and skinnier. This one's going to be C. I thought these were so darling. Here's another one that's a little more reddish. I mean, it kind of reminds me of strawberry jam. I guess that's the point, right? That's going to be D. And then for this lot, we'll wrap it up with this guy, letter E. And strawberry tap. And they're all pretty sizable, too. These ones are... Well, I don't have my ruler. That doesn't help, does it? I don't even know. I can't reach it. A few inches. <laughs> very specific. Huh? All right, let's go down the list. I'm sorry y'all didn't have the things picked. So Bonnie is first. Bonnie wants E. Oh, wait. Bonnie's got two claims in here. Um, Let's do it like one by one. If we have any left over, I'll come back to you for a second one just so I can make sure everybody gets one. If that's okay. So let me know, Bonnie, if you had a preference of C or E. And then Mac, I see Mac wanted B, so I'll go ahead and write him down. B Tower. All right, that one's Max. And then, okay, Bonnie wants the C. Okay, cool. Tower for Bonnie. <coughs> All right, how old are you? Okay, and then next up was Kristen. And Kristen wants D. You got it. Thank you so much. All right. And Janine, it is taken. Were you interested in one of the other ones? Let me know. Okay, Janine says E. Got it, got it. Thank you. Tower. All right. Okay, and then was anybody interested in A? I think we've got all our claims. I'm gonna leave A out there and show you the other three that I have. So now this is gonna be the new B. This guy's nice and purpley. That one's B. This one is C. This one's a little orangey, he's, he's different. He gets a little orange on that side, but he's sparkly. He kind of looks like sunstone on that side, but it's definitely not. And then the side is more of the pinky purpley kind of color. So that one's going to be C. And then this one. Now that right there, they do the same design in, in gold on other stuff. And there's a little spot of gold right there. This one's going to be D. This one's got some of the reddish... Orange on this side, it gets a little deep over here, it has a little gold and gets very light, like a light pink on this side. I kind of super dig that one. So if nobody gets that, I'll probably keep that one. All right. So new list A, B, C, and D. If anybody wants any of these, let me know. Carly's in for C, you got it. All right. All right, Carly's got that one. All right, anybody else before I clear them off? A, B, or C, these are the ones that are left. I get A, a B, and C. 
I'm sorry, that was D. A, B, and D. And if not, I'll go ahead and throw those up to the side. And except for this one, then I'm going to move over here. Uh, I don't know, Carly. I think I do. But can you just send it to me again? Just Well, actually, you know what? Don't send it to me. Don't send it to me. It doesn't matter. Because basically, when you pay your invoice, just make sure your, make sure your um, address is correct on the invoice, and it'll get to you. As long as your country hasn't changed, we're good. <laughs> All right now, these guys, these the these are the are fed tonight. These ones are these are 25. 25 start. I guess I'm gonna do these individually. Just in case. $25 starting bid. Oops. Now these I've had before, they're also known as the firework stone. They're also erroneously known as astrophilite, but our fedzenite is the correct term. That's A-R, arf, ved, son. I, hopefully I'm spelling that correctly. And these do have some of that chatoyancy in there, kind of like a, see what I'm saying, they like sparkle. This one's all blue. The one I had before had other colors in it. This is, these are just blue ones. Firework stone. This side is good. Almost like a tiger's eye. And they're very, they're very tall. They're very tall stones. <laughs> See if I can show you kind of against my hand. If you spread all your fingers out as wide as you can, you kind of have an idea. I have a ruler somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. But if you want me to find it, Track it down. I can do that. Max in for 25. Thank you. Can you do that big silver blob? <laughs> it's kind of more of a gold, but absolutely. You're talking about the heart. The pirate heart. I've never heard of our pensonite. You know what? I wonder if I wonder if my book probably not. I'm gonna set him back here since he won't stand on my table, but he'll stand back there. Max got $25 high bid on this guy. It looks like three of them. Yes, I've got three. I've got three. If you want to see all of them, I can show you. This guy looks like he's got a slight lean. He leans slightly. This guy leans slightly. This guy's... I guess at a certain angle, they all look like they're leaning a little bit. But at other angles, they look totally straight. So just disclaimer. Why don't we say, why don't we say 25 choice and we can just knock all these out at the same time. You bought the pyrite heart? I thought you bought the selenite heart. Mrs. Kojak, did you want this one? This is not 10. <laughs> this one's 62. Is that what you meant? I had you written down for this guy, one of these dudes. So let me know. I don't want to send you the wrong thing. I had you down for one of those, Mrs. Kojak. Okay, so we will say 25 choice. That was the one we looked at first. This is the second one. Oh, you wanted both. I'm so sorry. I did not know that. You got it. I'm sorry. It's been claimed. All right, you done. I'm sorry, Mrs. Kojak. I misunderstood. Oh, come on, you dang camera. I need one of Scooter Renee's camera. She got something really good. This guy actually it looks, I could be wrong, but it looks like it has flex of pyrite in it. It might. Do you see the, there's like little tiny flecks in there. It looks like a, a pirate. Anyway, that, that one, this is, there's totally pyrite in this thing. Look, there's some up there too. Oh no, that's a game changer for me. I love pyrite. Look, see all the flecks all throughout? Oh no. All right, this is definitely the one I would keep if I could keep one. It would be the one with the pyrite in it. And it's still got the blue, so it's good. Look! Ah, there's so much. I love it. Carly, it's been claimed. I didn't know Mrs. Kojak grabbed it earlier, but she did. All right, so that's one, two, three. That one, the second one. This one? All right, let me know. One, two, three, Mac. Are you talking about this guy in the middle? All right, hold on. Here's 
You're talking about this one, yes? Do let me know, Mac, if you'd like that one. Looks like Rashida wants the third one. <laughs> Liz, I asked for it on the list at the beginning. Did, okay, was it you who put it on the list? Maybe we need to just put it up for a bid. I didn't see I didn't see uh, Mrs. Kojak claim it, so let me. This one's got a little bit, and this one, they both have pyrite, these two. Actually, this one does too, now that I'm looking at it. So they've all got a little bit of pyrite in it. So that does not narrow it down. See, that guy's got it too. All those little flecks in there. Okay. We can do, we can pull it up and do it on a bid next, okay? How about we do that? Because that, I think that's the most fair thing. Okay. No, that's fine. I didn't real. I thought she had claimed it and I missed something earlier. I didn't see it. We can just open it up to a bid. We'll just do that. All right. So Mac, going back to Mac, let me just confirm which one he would like. They all have pirate in a Mac. Just like little flecks here and there. Not like a ton. So do let me know which one you're you're looking at. Yeah, I think that's probably the most fair thing since I missed it in the first place. I did say, yeah, I said I could, if someone wanted to claim it, I would bring it up. And if people were multiple people were interested, we would open it up to a bid. That is what I said. You can rewind the video and check. <laughs> but I did not see anybody ask for it. So that's the part that's throwing me off. Okay. Oh no, Mookie Pookie, are you allergic to something? Okay, Mac wants three. I'm sorry, Rashida, Mac's got a claim for number three. These were supposed to be bidded, but since people are not, not bidding. See, I'm screwing the pooch on this one too. All right, we'll just call it. We're just going to call it to Mac. Do you want me to mod for you? If you want a referee in the chat, that might be helpful. <laughs> I mean, we have a couple mods in the chat. Sorry, I'm just looking back to see. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, all right, Mac wants this guy. You got it. Let me write that down. This thing is like catching me in the corner of my eye and bugging me out. Little fairy in the back. All right, so these are 25. If anybody's interested in the other two blue are feds and knights, let me know. I'm going to put those in the back. I'm going to put this in the box. All right, this one is the $62 pyrite. Let's knock this guy out. I know, I understand. Oh, Rashida wanted number one. Okay, you got it. You got it. That guy's got a lot of blue. He's beautiful. Let me write that down. Thank you so much. Okay. And he's a bit, like 62 is still a really good deal for that for pyrite that size and with that many crystals on it just throwing that out there <laughs> okay cat d's in it's 62 thank you cat d it is a for a bit i think that's just the the most fair way to do it and hopefully you guys are okay with that And I do apologize for the confusion on this one. You all know I try to be as fair as possible. The, even the back is pretty good. Are you still sneezing? What are you allergic to? <laughs> this is a double storage stalker sneeze. Thank you guys. All right, so Cat D's got high bid at 62. 
I did that up there. Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. Thank you, Lindsay. All right, Mrs. Kojak's at 63. Thank you. All right, I'm seeing myself in there now. Hello, me. It's so like odd seeing myself on camera. I don't know why. Like through through a crystal. <laughs> if you know what I mean. All right, Kat D is at 65. Mrs. Kojak's at 70. Thank you. And this guy, he's actually I can't this one I can give your measurement on because I have my micrometer with me. He is About, it's kind of hard to get an exact measurement, but he's roughly like 108 millimeters, give or take. 108, so a little over four inches on his width. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He will not disappoint. If you're like me, you like the craters and the crystals, and this one will not disappoint. Was this the one of them that had, I guess it wasn't this one. I had one that had like a full crater that like went through so he could be hung up, which would be awesome. All right. No worries. Thank you. I know Mookie Pookie me too. All right, here we go. Going once. I was ogling this gorgeous piece of fluorite that had pyrite all over it. It was awesome. Going twice. Thank you, Lindsay. All right, final warning. Yes, I can, you know, if you guys like the hearts, those are easier for me to get right now than the spheres. The person I get the stuff from is sold out of spheres. I did try to get those because I love them, but I can see if I get more hearts. You know what? I think it's because it has a huge, like, a lot of crystals on it, right? You think, Kat D? Because if it was just like this, it would not be as exciting. Even though it's still pretty, and I love, I love everything in there. Thank you, Mrs. Kojak. You got it. But this one with all those, like, crevasses and caves and everything is just really, really nice. Thank you so much. You got it. And did you get your amethyst, Mrs. Kojak? Did I ask you this last week? <laughs> oh, yeah, you sure do. You do have a really, really, really good one. I have a really good one, too. Just saying. Yes, I concur. I'm with you on that. The more, the more caves and crystals I can see on those, the more I like it. Have you seen like a rough piece of it? This stuff is freaking cool. All right, so we did towers. Oh, we did. Okay, so let's do squirrels. Squirrel time. These guys are going to be $25 start. All right. This is the first one. I won't tell you which one I like more, but I've definitely got a preference. Here we go. I love these things. I think I need a squirrel army too. I think I need to get like a bajillion. And just have them like lining my sidewalk or something. Like I want them all on the outside of my house. And maybe a couple inside, but like I feel like they need to be outside in their natural element. <laughs> all right. Christensen for 25. Thank you. Check it out. Check out that one this like perfectly formed crystal. It's so gorgeous. Gorgeous. The amethyst is amazing and it's by my bed. Awesome. Um, thank you so much. We actually went back, the place that we got, like gave the waiter that huge tip. We went back there the other weekend for my husband's birthday and he like was so excited to see us. He was really nice. Treated us like royalty. It was 
it was really nice. I was like, you do not have to do any of this. He's like, I know, but now it's my time to treat you. And we're like, oh, you're so sweet. But, you know, you don't need to. <laughs> but it was really nice of him. We really like, I mean, they, he's a really awesome server. And the restaurant is just really cool. Or the brewery, I should call it. All right, Kristen's got high bit at 28. Thank you so much. Hey, if you guys are bored waiting for the next item, you can always use your mouse and click the thumbs up. That would be pretty cool and appreciated. All right, Babette's out. Oh, awesome, Mac. No one say a word to Delilah. All right, Kristen's got high bid at 21. I'm sorry, 28. Going once. going twice. What does Delilah have to do with this, though? Does she want, like, more friends? Final warning. More squirrel friends. And we are sold to Kristen for 28. Thank you so much. You got it. All right, here we go. Here's the last one for a while. You think so? You think it resembles uh, Darren? I don't know. I can't remember what Darren looks like, to be honest. Awesome. Thank you. Congrats. And here's the last one. The last guy for a while. I don't have any more of these on the way. I feel like everybody's had their fill squirrels, so I might wait a while before I order any more if I do order any. But this guy was talking to me. All right, come on. Come on, camera. Thank you. It's just, it's got so much light coloring in it. And I just love light colors and crystals. This one actually has a bit of hematite inclusion on the end. See, so it's a little orangey. He's gorgeous. He's so cute. There he is from the front. Hello. Who will buy me today? Have you seen my tail? It's amazing. Bam. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. All right, Babbitt's in for 25. Thank you so much. If only my arms could move so I could climb a tree. Instead, I will just sit on your desk and be a happy little stone squirrel guy man thing. Or even your nightstand. Do you want good dreams? Oh, that reminds me. Did anyone dream about me last week? <laughs> Let me know. I know, right, Mrs. Kojak? I'm telling you. I think I wrote it down wrong on the paper right in front of me. It's like one word that I always have to like sit and be like, okay, wait. Is it two R's or is it two L's? I always screwed up. Do you guys have words like that? Tell me if you have a word that you can't spell. Like, I don't think any of us here are literate. Clearly, we could all, like, chat effortlessly. But everybody's got that word. They got that word that they're like, wait, how do I spell this again? Label. That one. Label in squirrel. <laughs> As a matter of fact, no. No. No dreams. That's what you're talking about. All right. If no one else is in. Receipt. Yeah, that's a good one. Albus. I love it. Albus Dumbledore. All right, going once. To Babette for 25. Going twice. I love my big fat squirrel that lives in a pine tree in her backyard. He's so fluffy and cute and rotten. As if. He's a mean little, <laughs> he's a mean little chit. Hisses at me. Those things, you got to click at them. One almost attacked me once because I clicked clicked at it. Tomorrow. Yeah. I would, I have to remember tomorrow. Okay, this one's sold to Babette. Thank you. We spell the word color and a few others differently. Yeah, you guys like your U's. You like to throw your U's in there. Awesome. Thanks, Babette. I appreciate it. You will love this one. This is like, I really like this guy. Can you tell now which one's my favorite? It's this one. S-Q-U-I-R-R-E-L. We're about it. 
We got it. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Thank you. All right. Awesome sauce. All right, what's next? That was the squirrels. They're all gone. Later, squirrels. All right, spheres and the calcites are first. I forgot to price out the calcites. I have more of these that will be on the table next week. But I don't remember how much these ones were. Let me see if I have it. Nope, don't have it up. I have no idea. I have no idea. So I'm going to shoot from the hip. We're going to start both of them at 12. No, we'll start this one at 10. How about that? We'll start the other one at 12 because it's bigger. Blue calcite sphere. 12 bucks. These things are so dreamy and pretty. Now, Jonathan, if you all remember that guy, has an enormous one of these. I think his... He got like a free form calcite for me. I think it was like somewhere between seven and 11 pounds. I can't remember, but it was big and huge. And then he also bought a rough, a giant like rough piece. Woo. Okay. All the bids just popped in at once. Kristen's got high bid at 12. Thank you. Um, they, it's, he got the rough one. I'm sorry. He got the rough one for me too. It's a giant rough blue calcite piece and it's next to the polished one. And like, I just love the idea of that display. All right. Janine's at 13. Kristen's at 14. Carly's at 15. Karen is out. Thank you. Mrs. Kojak's at 16. And just so you know, you guys, I do have... I have one more back there that's a little bigger before you get too bidding crazy on this one. I think, you know what, let me see. While you guys are bidding, let me see if I have more. I know I've got more, I don't know. Let me see if they're in here. I wanted to save some things for next week so I didn't open all my inventory. But if there's multiple interests, we'll just maybe do, unless these aren't calcite. Nope, that's a mushroom. That's not calcite. That's not calcite either. Are you calcite? No, you're also. Maybe I don't. No, I think these are them. Are these? Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold, please. And hope that I don't stab myself. Okay, I do have two more. I do have two more. I got big old ocean jasper mushrooms, but those are for next week. All right, Mrs. Kojak's at 16. Let me see. All right, that's the smallest one. These ones are both bigger than that one. I'm just seeing what I can do for y'all, for anyone who's interested in these things. All right, cool. Maybe we could do like a choice bit on this one then. Because these appear to be the same size. That one's the smallest one I've got. Nino lovers in at 17. Hello. Okay, there. Well, that one's that one's about that size. That one's slightly bigger. And then the, these two are definitely bigger. You probably can't really tell too much. Those ones are definitely bigger. We'll do those next. So this has just become choice, okay? The choice of for 16 or 17. Or 18. This will be choice for these two. And then we'll do a separate bid for those ones because they're bigger. This one is a little bit bigger than that one, just so you know. This is the one we've been bidding on from the beginning, but I have the second one and we will just call it choice. How about that? All right, Mrs. Kojak is at 18. But now she says she's out. Okay, Needle Lover's at 19. All right. This is Kojak's out. I'm going to start calling it. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. All right. And we are sold to Needle Lover. Which one were you interested in? Do you want the original one that we're all bidding on? Number one. With a nice flash here and there. Or would you like number two? 
He's also got some sparkle and some flash. He's got a little like streak of cloud, cloudy white there. So let me know if you're interested in one or two. One or two. Thank you. Thanks everybody who bid. I appreciate it. All right. And then uh, Mrs. Kojak, you will have dibs on whichever one she does not choose. And then we'll go down the list and then we'll then we'll do those. All right, she wants the first one. You got it. Thank you. And uh, Mrs. Kojak, were you interested in this guy? Same price, 19 bucks. Let me know. Yeah. Do you drink coffee while you watch this show, Nino? Let me know. I'm just curious. Yeah, said the thumb. Thanks. You. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks you. I thank you too. I will take number two. You got it. Thank you so much. You got it. All right, and then these are the other ones. I'll show them to you in one hot second. He's going to be starting a bit of 12 on these guys for choice. Let's specify that. And they're the same. Sorry, it's kind of angled funny. They're the same size. If This one might be slightly larger, but it's not like, it's not a huge difference. Maybe a couple millimeters. Kojaks. All right, I've got Janine in first with high bid at 15. Cat D's at 16. Thank you for keeping up in the chat, Lindsay. I appreciate it. I heard Lindsay talk on another show. She was modding live. I'd never heard her voice before. Janine's in at 17. You have a very lovely voice. All right, let me show them to you a little bit too. This one also has a bit of the Little sparklies in there. It just like looks like you've caught the clouds, like a sky. I don't know. It reminds me of the sky. Like you've encapsulated it into a sphere. Option one, this is option two. And they are a little more like sky blue than they look on the screen. The screen makes them look a little darker than they actually are. They're a little bit lighter. This guy's also got ooh, look at that, a little fleck of, fleck of flash there. And washing my dishes with my iPad on the side of the sink so nobody jumps up and down and knock it in. You better talk to those cats. Just saying. All right, Janine's got high bit at 17. All right, here we go. Going once. Count it down. To Janine for 17. Going twice. This is going to end up being just like we were talking about earlier. About dropping stuff in the toilet. Except it's going to be your sink. <laughs> and I won't say I told you so. Oh, I forgot to say final warning. But there you go. Sold to Janine for 17. My bad. That's what happens when I talk. Thank you so much, Janine. Were you interested in number one? Or number two. Do let me know. Number one and number two. She's asleep on her stuffed mice that are huge and look like rats. Ew. <laughs> what an interesting, uh, interesting toy to have for a cat, a giant rat. I'm a, like imagining that as giant because you said she's sleeping on it. So it's got to be the size of like a cat bed, right? Or is it not? All right, Janine's in for one. You got it. Thank you. Blue calcite. And then who has next dibs? That would be Cat D. Cat D, were you interested in this guy for? Uh, 16, or I'm sorry, for 17. Let me know. Mm 
Yes, please do send me a picture. All right, Kat, do you want that? You got it. Thank you so much. All right, Centene Blue Calcite. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, shall we keep with the spheres? We did have a request for spheres starting with a calcite, so I guess we'll keep going on these ones. Let's do, this will start, well here, let me pull out all the peach moonstones. Oh, just kidding, I only have two. <laughs> oh, that was easy. We've got two of these. This one's gonna be a start of 21. He's cool. Peach moonstone. 21 start. The table is clearing out nicely. I concur. Although we do have a huge pile over here. So <laughs> looks can be deceiving. It's because I just like shoved everything to the side. It's looking a lot clearer back there though. That's for sure. Okay. No, I was about to move it, but here we go. Peach Moonstone. Let's see if we can find any of that nice shiller that it's known for. We have kind of like this highlight going on right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And it's not working out for me so much. It's peachy. I'm, I'm looking for the little shimmer. There's some up here. It's a little more subtle than I've seen in other peach moonstone, if I'm being honest. But it is up here. There's a little bit of Schiller down there. I know, but usually there's like a big, like flashy spot. It's still a nice little sphere and it does have good polish to it. There's some happening right here that my lights are kind of in the way of seeing. But I bet the other one's better. If I had to bet money on it, if I was a betting woman, I'd tell you that the other one's probably better. So we'll just set him aside if no one's interested in him. Oh, there's some over there. Okay. All right. Ugh, I give. All right. I give. You're annoying me. Let's do this one. All right. See right away. See what I'm saying? This one is... What? Tell me how this is 19 and this is 21. This isn't sunstone, this is peach moonstone, is it not? Well, I'm super doing that. No, this is not the same material. It's definitely peach moonstone. I don't know what they're doing with that price there, but hey, we'll go with it. These are pre-priced. <laughs> Just so you know, that's not my handwriting. Anyhow, this is the uh, bigger one. It's, for some reason, a different amount of money. Wait, hold on, Karen, are you bidding on the small dude? You want this one here? Because if so, I'm just gonna go straight to a final warning. Are you talking about this guy? The smaller dude, the super nice polished guy. If so, do let me know, please confirm. 21 on this one, to a final warning on this for Karen. Since no one's battling for it, I just want to confirm. He's a little sparkly back in the back. And we are sold. I'm just waiting for your confirmation, Karen, but I'm going to write that down for you. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome, thank you. All right, I thought I had a box, I don't. Let me grab a bag, hold on. Okay, cool. All right, back to the other one. Christina is in for 19, thank you. 
Oh, you sent me a picture? I'm going to go look. Okay, let me hold this guy up. All right, so here is... Doo -doo -doo. There he is. All right, see, he's got much more flash on him than the other one. Already. I just don't understand the price, but hey. Whatever. We'll go with it. All right, Lindsay Ann. Oh, I'm sorry. Christine is in at 19. It's a nice one. There's some more of that flash on the bottom there. Who I'm struggling with this camera. This thing makes me so irate. I had my temper well with this camera. Okay, there we go. See, there's the bottom of it. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. All right, let me set that there for a second while I go ogle uh, Sally's cat. <laughs> you did not. Okay, there it is. Just kidding. I can't even tell that's a mouse. Aww. That's so cute. See, now I've got a good picture of your cat. Now I can see what it looks like. It's a very cute cat. She's got a nice cat, guys. It's a, it's a nice looking cat. Just saying. All right, if no one else is in, we'll go straight to a final warning for Christina. Final warning. All right, and we're going to call it sold. Soul to Christina for 19. Thank you so much, my CC. I appreciate your continued business and support. You get a song. Thank you so much, Peach Stone. You got it. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I need some new bags. Tom Cruise. That's whose bag this was. You know, he had asked me to get more turtles, and I got them, but I don't see them in here tonight. Oh, you, you give her her scratches. You do it. Don't ignore the cat. You know how that can go. All right. Next up, we have... Da -da -da -da. Do you guys want to do, we'll just go back and forth. I've got the black moonstone and then I've got, we're just going to like do, we're just going to round robin it. I'm not going to stick on one piece. I'm going to keep like moving around. Whoo, this stuff's so pretty. This is the black moonstone. West side, Gary, welcome in, sir. How are you? This one is what, 19? 19 start for the black moonstone. Not the biggest. This is actually the smallest one I've got. But there's your flash. I hope you can see it okay. Someone was asking me to get more. Ooh, look at that. Get more moonstone. So I did. I did my best. There's another flashy spot. Hello. All right, Brenson at 19. Thank you. It's good. It's nice stuff. Oh, it's got sticker smudge on there. There's a little, like, can you see this kind of glow kind of thing happening over here? It's nice. All right, Kristen D's in at 20. Thank you, Brenda 21. That's so good. I love this stuff. I'm trying to think if I have a sphere of this. I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm not like 100% on that. Now I'm wondering if I should hoard one. <laughs> Kat D's at 20. I'm sorry. Kristen D's at 23. Thank you so much. Gary, you can tell if you have Tom like on speed dial, you let him know that there's more Labradorite turtles on the table because I think he asked me for some. Huh? Nice. 
Hey there, Cat D. 710, is 710 here? I missed him. 710, welcome in. All right, Ben. Brent is at 24. Cat on lap. How did I thought you were doing dishes, Ms. Elizabeth? All right, Kristen's at 25. Awesome. I don't know if he's still interested, but you know. All right, Bren's out. Here we go. Let's start calling it. Going once to Kristen for 25. Going twice. The sweet little beast. Final warning. Dishes are done. Cat gets attention time. And we are sold. Sold to Kristen for 25. Thank you so much. I misplaced my pen again. Black needs to own. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, since you guys are uh, late to the party, 710 and Gary, let us know, have you ever dropped something in the toilet? That's the question that's on everybody's mind tonight. All right, I'm going to show you these guys. Let me show you these guys. I freaking love these. So a couple of them have a little faux opal, like a lab opal down there in the center. Hopefully you can see it. These are amazing. So there's uh, someone that I connected with in the disc golf community that also blows glass. Now I know a couple of glass blowing disc golfers, which is kind of funny. There's, oh, look, it's shimmery down I didn't even know that. These are all hand done. Glass blowing is hard. I speak from experience. These guys are a little on the pricey side for being little marbles, but they're freaking sweet. There's five of them total. And just for the sake of, I don't even know, instead of putting them up to a bid, or maybe I should. I don't know. Let's start. We're going to start the ones with the uh, opals in them at 45 and the ones without will be 40. So this guy's going to be a $45 starting bid. And these on his Etsy go for like 20, 15, 20 dollars more than that. Um, and I think he does do custom orders. So if you're interested, I can hook you up with his information. Just shoot me an email. Oh, thanks, Gary. You're so sweet. I did finally hit 700. I'm trekking my way up towards uh, 1,000. Hopefully I get there eventually. Because, <laughs> you know, I was watching this video that Kristen, our very own Kristen D in the chat tonight, made about, like, some tools you can use um, on tagging your videos, but I don't think they're unlocked till you hit 1,000. So it would be really nice to have those have those tools. All right, so this one is a $45 one. This one is gonna be 40. This does not have the opal in the center. So it does have that swirled dichroic glass on the inside. These things are so much cooler in person. I just wanna say that too. This one's got kind of that teal and yellow pinwheel design on the back. I mean, this is all done by hand, y'all. This is done using a technique um, called stream. It's not the technique. They're called streamers. They're like long, skinny pieces of glass that you use to do designs like that. Pretty wild. This is another $40 one. This is my personal favorite. This he calls a dot stack. Awesome stuff. So that one will be 40. Uh, this is another $45 one. There's the opal down there in the center. 
This is a black and white duck stack. I know. Hopefully I hit it soon. I would like to hit it before the end of the year, but we'll see. We'll see. And then this is like a dark blue with some sparkles in it with the yellow. Another pinwheel design. And then this one is also a 45 because it's got that opal down there. And all the glass. I'm telling you, these things are so much cooler in person. Who we kill you in a heartbeat. It flies after 750. Who we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> all right, so those are all of those ones. And then we have the expensive mini spheres over here. Not as expensive as those, but here you go. These we're going to call all these by now. This is a uh, copper red um, rutile or rutilated quartz. Gold is probably the most common color. But it comes in black, it comes in silver, it comes in reds, it comes in coppers. This little dude here, this tiny guy is going to get 12 bucks for the little dude. $12 for him. And the rest of these, we're going to call these for 18 on the rest. This is number one. This is like a really dark, dark red. You know what? Here, let me do this. Let's get the magnifier back out. All right, Babette wants the first one for 12. Ignore all the silver sitting on the screen. You got it. Oh, gosh, this is worse. This is actually worse, I think. All right, hold on. We'll try something else. Let me get this one in Babette's bag. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Lindsay. All right. Okay, here we go. This one, maybe this will help a little bit. I'm just trying to show you the little copper bits. It's like a coppery red kind of color. It is so hard for me to show this on the camera. This is driving me batty. But this one's 18. We'll call this 18 1. How cool is that? This will be 18 2. I'm sorry about the fuzzies on my hand. I'm trying. Eighteen two, and then this will be eighteen three. All right, all right. Mac wants eighteen one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. I'm sorry about my struggle. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. How are you? All right, Mac, 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 down here. You got it. Okay. <laughs> We're all getting stoned up in here. I need to make a stoner shirt. Oh, you're talking about the cat. Okay. I was like, who is he cooking eggs for? <laughs> All right. So these two are still available. Again, these are 18 little rutilated spheres. I'll throw those up there for the time being. What other spheres do we have? Do we want to talk about these guys? Let's do the little fairy dune. This one's going to be 18 start. Isn't it funny? funny about materials and their costs that this is 18 but this is also 18 <laughs> but in so i've got these stands too if anybody wants these these are five bucks and then if you want the whole package i'll throw that ring in there too but it's a little fairy the other one i have is an angel 
Hope you can see it. Want to get stoned? Too bad you can't put like inflection in text too well. <laughs> Elizabeth, don't look. There's also little butterflies in there too. I'm trying. It's kind of hard for me to show this on the camera, but she's sitting on like a little branch with flowers on it. She's a little naked fairy, my favorite kinds of fairies, and has the butterfly wings, and then there's like a little butterfly up at the top, too. It's all 3D. There's kind of a side view of it. I'm going to knock this thing off. Sorry about that. It's pretty. <laughs> Not looking, y'all. Friends at 22, and these things are, let me tell you, the millimeter size. About 80, about 80 millimeters. All right, Cat D's in at 24. Yeah, we heard you. We just didn't believe you. <laughs> it's okay. We also won't get mad at you if you break that, you know, vow or whatever you want to call it. That you just made to yourself, honestly. No one here cares. Brian at 25, Cats at 26. You know what? Sometimes, like, the easiest way to show this thing is with the flashlight. Does that help a little bit? Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Okay, there you go. What are those? Those are like little plumeria flowers, perhaps. Is that what those are supposed to be? Hibiscus, perhaps. Yes, I do. These stands, they're just five bucks. They're just little cheap ones. Five bucks, and I've got, I think I've, so I've got five left of them. Six if you include this one here. Maybe that would be better just like with a light shining down on it instead of shining up. You know what I'm saying? It'd be easier to, that's for sure. But in the dark, the, this will be just fine. But like, if you want to see it during the light or in the light. It's pretty darn cool. And now my fingerprints are getting all over it though. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Brent is out. Cat D's got high bit at 26. Sell it fast before Elizabeth looks. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. Here's just the box. There's they just come in a little box. And we are so oh, sniped. We are sniped. Gary's in there 28. First quality snipe we've had in some time. Thank you for your bid. All right, Katie's at 30. She said, I don't think so. Sniper Gare Bear. That's what my uh, sister-in-law calls my brother-in-law. <laughs> All right, 32. Let Gary have it. No friends at the auction. That's what they keep telling me. <laughs> All right, going once to Gary for 32. Going twice. Final warning. And we are sold to Gary for 32. Thank you so much. Tell me, sir, to make it an even 35. Do you want to make it an even 35 and I'll throw on the stand in the ring? Let me know. If anybody else wants these, these things are five bucks for the stand. The rings I have to pull out of my room. I don't know where the heck they all went. But let me know. Or if you just want that one for 32, that's cool too. Just let me know. And thank you so much. Muchos gracias. Oh, look at that Prosky love. You got it. Very sweet. 
are. Send to Elizabeth. You got it. You got it, got it, got it. Nice score, Elizabeth. You got some friends in hot places. Well, I got friends in low places. Something, something, I don't know the leaks. Awesome. Oh, I highlighted that. Two lighted stands. You got it. All right, that brings me down to, I got two more. So if anybody wants them, let me know. There's two left. Actually, I lied. There's only one left. I need one of these. <laughs> one left if anybody wants it, five bucks. I forgot. I have, I got a little like moon from Miranda and I need a seer holder for it. I got it for my little kid, my little space obsessed kid. All right. Let's see CeCe's bag. Who's getting this bag? I already forget. Carly Q. Carly, I'm doing jewelry on other people's channels soon. Can I get two rings as well? Ooh, that might be a tall order because I don't know where they all flew off to. Um, I've got these ones. Let's give you these ones. Do you want the smaller ones or the bigger ones? I've got like some that are a little bit smaller than this. I'll throw these in there though. I'll just give you those. I don't know where the other ones are, so you gotta you gotta take what you can get. You know what I'm saying? All right. Did I get everything? Duh. She will. She will treasure it always. You got some great new stones in. Who? Let me tell you. Yes, yes, I do. I do have fantastic stones. All right, now anybody into this one? This is the uh, the angel with the big old angel wings. Same thing. Eighteen dollar one. And then, what time is it? It's almost nine. Perhaps we should break for a giveaway momentarily. There's the angel. Again, a three-dimensional one. The little halo in the wings. I'm sorry, it's so much harder for me. Here, let me move these out of the way. There. Much better. Much easier for me to show it this way. Now this is very appropriate, having the light shine down on it. Having let your light shine down. Whoa! Having let your light shine down. All right, Janine's at 20. Ren's at 22. Janine's at 23. I'm gonna let her shine. I'm gonna let it shine. Hands that a light. Shot on me. Oh, hell, 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 hell. Hands are alive. Shot on me. Shot. Shot on me. Yeah, yeah, Shine. Come on and shine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Huh? Yeah. Okay, that's all that's going to be in my head for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's scared and running away. Oh, that's every week, isn't it? I'm like totally straight edge, right, y'all? My husband is like, you don't need any drugs. You are crazy enough. And I say, yes, yes, that is probably true. All right. <laughs> I don't think anyone else is bidding. Janine's at 23. <laughs> See, that's my addiction too, Gary. This kind of getting stoned. All right, here we go. Going once to Janine. I think bids have stopped. Going twice. I can't think of any other lyrics of that song. Who's going to bed? 
Good night, Bren. I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. I do hope that you feel better. I'll keep you in my thoughts and prayers. And hopefully I see you in a in a better mood next time and a better feeling next time. Hopefully you you just you just feel better. Hope you feel better. And we are sold. Sold to Janine for 23. Thank you. All right. And if you want to make it a 25 and snag up that last thingy jiggy, let me know. I'm going to find a sphere for it. Or a uh, ring. But let me know. Let me know if you want. All right. Janine, Janine. And if not, no worries. I do also have these little dudes acting as uh, sphere holders. They're actually napkin rings. They're metal. We're going to call these for two bucks if anybody wants these. Gold tone, two dollar rings. That one's got a little funk on it. I didn't actually clean it up, but hey, it's pretty. So if anybody wants one of those, let me know. Or if you just want a set of napkin rings for eight dollars, you can do that. You're like, I don't need a sphere holder, but I do need napkin rings. All right, Cat D wants one. You got it. Ring. Okay, cool. Ooh, and Kristen wants two. You got it. All right, I got one left. All right, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. I don't know what to give away, but we'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We haven't talked about this pirate yet, but let's let's give a let's give a little pirate chunk away. Because they look great. We'll do a little pirate chunk and what else? What else? What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I know what I've got that we haven't talked about in a minute are these obsidians. We'll, we'll give some tumbles, huh? Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, those are the rings. Ha <laughs> Those aren't tumbles. Got them. And let's do these guys. We'll do a little tumble pack. All right, we'll do a little snowflake obsidian. This is also snowflake obsidian, but it barely has any snowflakes on it. But there's a little obsidian tumble. We'll do this little tumble group here. Let's throw a rhyolite in there. Why not? And an aqua. We'll do a little tumble cluster for our giveaway tonight. How about that? And here, just for funsies, this little white stone. This little white granite tumble. There we go. That's what we're playing for tonight. So let's do it, y'all. It's time to play the family. Ooh, you got it. Thank you, Janine, for letting me know. Or, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on. Right. Let me write this down really quick. Angel with stand, if I can read my own handwriting. All right, now i got to find you a ring. There's some in here. I just gotta open it. Come on and shine. Weren't there three turtles? No, there's three. Oh. Alright, hold on. Hold on, y'all. This is taking priority right now. I'm sorry about that. I have to get this bag open. And in fact, I can use these. So in the meantime, aha. they're just little acrylic stands. These are a buck if you guys want an acrylic stand, $1 for a little acrylic ring. Um, family Feud, if you're new here, we play Family Feud and it's lots of fun. Uh, let me get these in Janine's bag. All right, so I'm going to pull a card out. And this is to win this. So you have to buy something 
to get the, the goods. They'll ship along with your package. Okay. If I'll keep them aside for like a week or two. And if you buy something, you don't buy something tonight, but you do next week, it'll go in your bag. So here, these are what the cards look like. I'm going to ask a question here. And Janine, since she's the last person to buy something, will uh, pick one of these that we have to guess. So if this is a question, Janine says, let's guess answer four, then you would have to guess the lion tamer. First person in the chat to get it wins the prize, which tonight are the tumbles. How many napkin rings? I've got one left. One left of the, the little gold metal napkin rings. There's one left of those. And then these little plastic ones, these are a buck. And these, these won't hold the like super small ones, but they'll hold these guys. And they'll hold the bigger ones like these guys. These guys, do I just pluralize it like a freaking New York gangster? All right, here we go. Janine, what does Cat D want? Cat D called two of them. Cat D got two. Carly, I've only got one. Do you want the last one? That, that, that is a blessing. My husband just harasses me and says I have too many crystals. But that's not a thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Carly might have been in there first. No, Kristen was in there first. Oh, no, she wants one for two. Did someone claim two? Who got two? Oh, Kristen, I'm sorry. Kristen, I had you written down for two and not one for two. You only want one, is that right? If you only want one, then I will give the other two to Carly. Okay, so hopefully, yes, okay. You have two, I wrote down, I guess I got you guys flip-flopped. Okay, I flipped it, I'm sorry. We're good, I just flipped your bags. I think because you're Cat D and then there's Kristen D, I'm just getting confused because I'm an idiot, but Fortunately, this is an extremely easy fix. So let me just fix that. So cat D gets two. So I still only have one left. I still only have one left. So Carly, if you want the last one, let me know. And I think that clears everything up. And okay, Carly said yes. Okay, cool. And Carly will take the last gold one. Okay. All right, cool. Let's do family feud. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So Janine, where are you at? Thank you, Lindsay. Where's Janine at? Do, 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 do. Janine, are you around, Janine? Janine, you need to pick an answer. Yes, fingers at the ready. Let's see, which one are we going to do tonight? Oh, no one wants to do geography. That's also kind of geography. That's not fun. Let's do something else. Womp, womp. Like, I feel like I could totally rock it on this one, even though my geography sucks. All right, Janine, I need an ant or a number. I don't like that either. I feel like we did that one already. All right, hold on. Let me dig a little deeper. Maybe I need to open the other pack of cards. Dun, dun, dun. I think we did that one, too. I think it's time for the other pack of cards. Shoot, y'all, we're gonna have to like. Oh, wait, no, here's my stack. Ha! They've been hiding from me this whole time. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Give me number one through six, Janine. I hope we didn't do this one. I don't think we did, though. Let me know. One through six. One through six. Why would I do that? Why would I take out the ones that we've done already? Or leave them in. That's what I did. 
Oh, we haven't done that one. I don't think we did that one either. All right, we'll, we'll put that aside too. I need to be a little more organized is what this comes down to. I am not. All right, answer number four. Okay, everybody get on live chat. Make sure on live chat you're refreshed. Give you a second to refresh the page while I put these cards back. And let's go for it. These are the old ones, yes. No. <laughs> I like that one too. All right, let me put those aside. Those are the ones we've done before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And now to get these again, you have to purchase something and I'll put it into your box or bag. Here's tonight's question. We are looking for the number four answer. Name the most boring sport on television. If anyone says disc golf, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Name the most boring sport on television. Although they don't, they don't really televise a lot of disc golf. Golf is the number one answer. Nice try. Football. No, 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 no. Not football. All right, hold on. I missed the auction, didn't I? All right, here we go. Not football. Golf is number one. Tennis is number two. Golf number one. Swimming not on there. Golf, golf, golf. No, no, no. Tennis is number two. Tennis number two. Hockey. Hockey's not boring. It's a little boring, but it's not on the card. Not golf. Not wrestling. Not tennis. Baseball's number three, and basketball is number four. Babette gets it. She gets it. Number four answer is basketball. Soccer was actually number five. Someone said wrestling. No one said boxing, though. Boxing was number six. But the one we were looking for was basketball, which is Babette. Babette, you are the winner of all the tumbles. Thank you so much. I'll add it to your box. I'm out of bags. That's what I needed to order. Will it fit in there? I don't know. <laughs> we'll try. We'll see if we can fit it. I just ordered like a bunch of stuff on eBay, like some tissue paper and jewelry, like bill gift boxes and things like that. Oh, there's a little aqua in here too. A little aquamarine. Um, I totally forgot to get more of these. I need more of these for my tumbles. Congratulations. Good thinking and your efforts shall be rewarded. Thank you everybody for playing. That was that was a nice one. I like I kind of like this combination of stones. I think they go together nicely, actually. I kind of like it. All right. Let me throw this in Babette's box. And we'll keep ogling crystals. What did Kate say? Oh, my husband would truly disagree. <laughs> Is it really? A lot of people. You know, since I started playing disc golf, regular golf, I'm like, I kind of I kind of get it now. I feel like disc golf probably for most people that don't play it would be so incredibly bored. I think it's wonderful. All right. Let me stick that to the side. Let's see. We've done a lot of spheres. Do we want to keep doing spheres or should we let those hang out for a minute? I actually like basketball. Yeah, I feel like basketball is like somewhat exciting. I'm going to have to agree that golf is probably the most boring sport. But someone said chess or something like that. I also, that, that. <laughs> I can't believe boxing is on the card, quite honestly. Oh my gosh, I love just golf, Gary. I love it so much. It's my fave. I, honestly, it's the only sport I watch is disc golf. I don't watch anything else. Um, okay. Palm stones. Beautiful palm stones. I don't even know what to start these at. Let's see. How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, this was the other stumper. Let me show you this. This is the other one. I can't figure out what it is. 
This to me looks like calcite. This looks like calcite. The purple I am so stumped on. And then what's throwing me off even more is that there's pink in there. And there's two of these. I don't know what this is. I do not know. If it was just purple, I would guess like a fluorite and calcite combo or maybe amethyst and calcite. But what is the pink doing in there? There's pink. And then this one too, look. And now there's a stone called rubellite that looks similar to this, but it's just the pink. It's the pink and the white. It's not the purple. So I don't know what this is either. But those are there. Yes, there are some labs in here too. All right, let's do this. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Let's throw the big boys out to the side. And the little dudes... We'll do a few little dudes together. This is going to be for the lot of, of these tumbles here. We'll throw that guy in there too. And I'll throw in a pyrite. So this is going to be the pile of six right here. I'll show you each of one of these. And we'll start it at, we'll start at $4. The pink just stopped by for a bit of stunk. <laughs> oh man. Golf is boring. I've never played golf, West Side Gary. Can you believe that? Gary, I need to play golf. I feel like I would suck at it, but I feel like it'd be fun. I used to do the driving ranges, and we have like top golf around here if you've ever played that, but I've never played a round of golf. All right, so here is the this is a peach moonstone, a little piece of peach moonstone. This is actually an extremely dark, smoky quartz, and it's beautiful and lovely. And I would love to have it set in a ring and have this big, gaudy ring. It's like totally translucent. Thank you. So that's a dark, old, good, really good quartz. Like that should be faceted. It is really, really nice quartz. Then we have the lab. This is the one that has the, oh no, yeah, this one's got a little bit of uh, boo boo on the side of it. So you're aware, but he's still a nice, flashy lab tumble. And then we have the mystery stone. Maybe it's rubellite, maybe it's not. And then the pyrite. One of my favorite things. And then this looks to me like a serpentine, but I don't know for sure. But it's like a bright, like a neon green yellow kind of color with some brown in there. It looks like serpentine. So this is for the slot here. And Mrs. Kojak has high bid at 13. Nino Lover is at 14. Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six stones. Ooh, can I show it to you a little better? Maybe. It's kind of a fun combination, isn't it? I dig this. Mrs. Kojak's at 15. Thank you. I love the smoky quartz. I can't get over this one. I thought it was an obsidian when I picked it. I realized that it was translucent. I was like, OMG. That is nice. Like they like legit. That should have been faceted. That is super deep, super good quality. Yes, this is fifteen for the lot for all six of these stones. Oh, there we go. That's a little better, huh? Look at my camera behaving right now. Yes, prices for all. All right, Nina's at sixteen. Thank you so much. I love the peach moonstone. That's what that other one, well, they both sold, but that's what that other, those spheres were. Whoops. My smoothie quartz just took a nosedive. All right, Max at 17. Thank you so much. Let me see, I'm peeking around here. What else can I throw in? All right, we got a couple of these. We'll just add one of these guys to the mix. It's the fire quartz right here. Fire quartz guy. All right, and that's for real going to be it. That's all that's going to be in the slot, these seven stones. All right, Max got high bid at 22. I do need bags. See, I need bags. I don't know what the, I don't even understand this. What does that say? Lotto? What does it say? Jewelry, et cetera. 
lot 10 lotto what is that i was like maybe i can put him in this bag and then i was like what the heck does this bag even say all right i've got gary in at 24 max at 25 Nino's out. Thank you. Gary's out. We're going to call it down to Mac. Going once. To Mac for 25. Thank you so much. Going twice. Final warning. And if you do find out what that stone is, let me know. Oh, snipey snipe. This is Kojak's in at 26. Sorry, Mac. We got ourselves a snow. Uh, 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 uh. Max at 27. I'm, you guys are making me feel obligated to throw something else in there. All right, this isn't on the table, but I'm going to throw in a little carnelian cube in there too, just for funsies. Because they're cool and I have a bunch, so why not? Uh, if I can get it out. Wait, these aren't carnelian cubes. What are these? Oh, I grabbed from the wrong bag. So I'll throw this in instead. This is Red Tiger's Eye with Hematite. I'll go in there too. Woo, that guy. This guy does not want to stay in my hand. He's mad. He's mad about it. All right, Mrs. Kojak has high bit at 31. Maybe we should do like an exclusively like tumbles night. I don't have enough for that presently, I don't think. I'm just putting these all in the bag, sorry. <laughs> you get it in the lotto bag. No, they don't look as nice in there, do they? All right, Max at 33. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Lindsay. There must be like a stone in here that's really speaking to one of you guys. So Jack's at 35. Thank you so much. I'm curious as to which, like, which one are you really enamored with? That's what I want to know. Wow, check out that power bid magazine at 42. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm doing it. Golden Healer's going in there. That's a nice one, too. He's going in. 42 bucks, we'll throw him in there, too. He's more of a calm down the temple. He's a little bigger, but that's okay. Just stubborn. Okay, well, we'll throw you in a little. You're stubborn, but that's okay. Prize. It was the tiger's eye. All right, Mrs. Kojak's back at 43. Chunk it up. I know. I'm like, well, maybe I should just, maybe we just do the whole dang freaking lot. <laughs> just keep adding it in. Do, do, do. He's at 45. What should we, maybe one of these mystery stones. Let's do one of these mystery stones. Again, I feel pretty confident. It's a quartz family item. This is the egg-shaped one. Like, I presume it's an agate. And the other reason I think it might be an agate is because of the way it glows. Agate has kind of like a yellowy glow to it a lot of times. This one has that kind of yellow glow. But I don't know. Maybe I should just leave this bag open for a hot second, huh? Throw that guy in there. Once all these tumbles, what else we got on the table? You already have a fire quartz. So you already have that mystery one. You don't have an appetite. Maybe we'll throw that appetite in there. It's so dark. It's a really dark appetite. These things are heavy too. It's almost black. He's got a little boo-boo on the end there, but super, super dark guy. He's going in there too. Can you even hear me talking? I'm like, maybe I'm just rambling to myself. I didn't mean to do that. Polished up K2. Right? That one is cool. And then what else? We've got a lab in there. There's a couple labs on this table, though.
Maybe one of these we'll have to give away. Give it away, give it away now. Woo! All right, we'll throw him in there too. There's another lab. We'll throw another labbard right in there. Everybody likes lab. Why not, right? Oh, man. Things just got jumped all over the place. I'm staring at stones and look back at the $65 bid. 69 if a turtle goes in the neck, goes to the neck. Just saying. What are we at? 65? This is Kojix at 75. Let me calculate in my head. Let me calculate. I don't know. Because they're these damn turtles are so expensive. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. He went to 80. Let's do it. I'll throw the little guy in there. There's a little rubber. His belly has awesome, awesome flash on it. He's in. Mr. Labradorite Turtle sitting right there on top of his other friend. This is my start to collecting. That sounds familiar, Lindsay, doesn't it? All right, Mrs. Kojak said 85. This is how we got Lindsay hooked. She bought like a lot of stones. <laughs> I Listen, I had no intention of doing it this way, but you know, it just kind of happened. I didn't mean to, officer. It just happened. There we go. Max at 100. You just put the hammer down. Bam. Boom. Bam. Shablamo. <laughs> Dang. That's what I have to say about that. Now I'm looking around. 130. What? what are you doing, Mac? You can't outbid yourself. Or are we just wondering what else gets thrown in there? Oh, thanks, Wes. Oh, Miss O, she went to 110. I didn't see that. Well, mess the bed. Let's throw that guy in there. Hopefully you liked him. He, well, I'm not going to put him in the bag, but he's with it. He's with it. He's hanging. He's part of this family now. All right, Mrs. Kojak said 135. Just going to edge out a little bit. <laughs> I got tumbles here. All right, you tell tell me, Lindsay, who do you have first at 150? I've got two of these bids in simultaneously. On my screen, Mrs. Kojak's in first, but you guys let me know who showed up first. I didn't know it was gonna happen. It just kind of happened. <laughs> it just happened. All right, let's do this. Grab, I'm gonna grab this guy. This thing is really, really, really high quality sunstone. He's fabulous and he'll go in there too. All right, what do we think? What are we thinking? All right, Max got high bit at 175. Hey, Mare. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know, it just kind of happened. It just kind of happened. One second. See, now I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? Let me do this guy too. I've had him for a minute. This is actually grape agate. Like an older specimen of it with green, which is unusual. They Apparently, my mineral guy was telling me that he doesn't, like they collectively don't know why grape agate gets green on it. But sometimes it does. That's like a $35 chunk right there of that stuff. That stuff ain't cheap. All right, Mrs. Kojak said 80. See, once again, I'm getting bids in at the same time. Oh my gosh, 200, you guys. All right, I got it. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> like, wait, what else can I throw in? What? That's what lit the fire. It's, it's, it keeps, I know, right? Thank you. Now I'm like, shoot, what else can I put in there? 
All right, let me add, let me add one more thing. Let's see, we're up to what? Mrs. K's at two. Max at 210. You guys, this is turkey song territory, just telling you. <laughs> what else? What do you got? I'm trying to think too, what you guys don't have already. All right, hold on. All right, this was being saved for next week, but we'll throw it on there too. The little mushroom dude on there. Let me get this sticker off. Ignore my wholesale pricing. Ignore it. This is an ocean jasper uh, mushroom. I have a couple more for next week, but he'll go in here for now. I know, right? All right, Max at 250. This is Kojax at 275. What else can I throw in? Don't even know. Don't even know. You guys are going to have to stop bidding just for reasons. I'm, th I'm looking around, you guys. All right. This is it. One last thing. I hope you guys can see this pile. One last thing, and then, and then this is it, okay? No more. That guy. <laughs> okay. Let's see how serious you guys really are. That's the last piece in there. Bam. So all of this and that. This guy. Hanging out in the back. Blam. So tumbles, turtle, gray baggot, mushroom, sunstone, the hematoid quartz, and this giant quartz specimen cluster. And I'm done. No more. No moss. That's it. This is Kojex at 360. This was a BTI all by itself right here. I'll take his sticker off. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is awesome. Max in at 375. This is Ko Jackson at 380. Like, you guys don't even know how much this helps me out. This is great. Thank you so much. For real. <laughs> Keep adding. I'll have nothing left. This will be it. This will be it. Whoo. Uh -oh. All right, Max at 390. Start you guys both start thinking about what song you want me to sing in the turkey gobble. 395. Four. Man, thank you guys so much. They're on the big pink amethyst. Which big oh, <laughs> I can't do that. That's like a that right there is like a two hundred dollar piece. I cannot. I think that thing was originally 250. <laughs> 401. There's no rules here against one dollar bids. All right, max at 410. This butte ain't enough, huh? You want the, the pinky amethyst too. <laughs> I that pink amethyst, honestly, that thing's about to go in my personal collection because no one is buying it here. And I it's like an amazing piece. It's so deeply saturated. It's really, really good. You win Max. <laughs> she calls you Max just to rub it in a little bit. Dollar increments, Sally. <laughs> Oh man, you totally did. Yeah, Cat D does have the record there. All right, here we go. Going once to Mac for 410. Going twice. Final warning. Da 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 da. 
And we are sold to Mac. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Mrs. Kojak, for bidding too. I appreciate it, guys. This is wonderful and super helpful to me. You have no idea. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I like, I could use the money is all I'm saying. There's a reason I'm going a little uh, auction crazy this past week with my buy it now videos. <laughs> Because I can use it. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Awesome. All right. Let me clear this off the table. Let me go. This thing is so freaking heavy. This guy right here. Oh my goodness. Mac probably at this point has a collection that rivals mine. <laughs> <laughs> with the stones he's got. He's got good stuff. Awesome. And did you think of a song? Let me know. Thanks, Gary. Clear the screen. Thanks, everybody. Send me the address to send my dog. Which dog? What dog are you talking about? Are you talking about that? My my puppy in the back? I already forget his name. We named him, but I don't remember what his name was. Awesome. Yes, take care of that turtle. Did the jello mold sphere just sell? I have no idea which one that is, Pookie Pookie. Oh, well, there you go. You probably do. I would like to see that. Can you please send me photos? I would love to see your collection. I didn't know. I thought you recently started collecting, but man, you probably have an epic collection then. Oh, you threw your dog in the auction. <laughs> nice. I'm still wondering what jello mold she's talking about, but I guess we'll find out eventually. All right, so Max going to pick a song for us. And in the meantime, wow, that was sweet. All right, let's do this cat. Let's do this weird cat. Here's the thing. I picked him up. <laughs> In the turkey gobble? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know how to do that in a turkey gobble. All right. That's gonna be that's gonna be challenging. And if people don't know the peanut butter jelly song, this is gonna be awfully awkward for everybody. All right, let me move the cat to the side. I'm gonna take a sip of water and I'll do my damnedest. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Gobble gobble. Oh man, that is a struggle, dude. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> Oh, man. And there's something else to that song, as far as I know. There's no lyrics other than that. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Whew. All right, let's, that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, my God. Whew. All right, here we go. Here's the cat. <laughs> the weird cat. Oh, my voice is cracking now, too. All right, hold on. Need more water. All right, there you go. I hope you loved it. I hope you loved it, Mac. <laughs> All right, starting bit a dollar at this cat. So here's the deal with the cat. It's a stone cat of some sort. Um, nobody knows. It's carved. Here's the kicker, though. I think that this design and everything is a Sharpie. I think it was originally just a white cat. This just looks like Sharpie to me. But I kind of dig it. I thought it was kind of cute. 
I don't know what the stone is. It might just be a soapstone, limestone, jasper that is white. I don't know. But he's like cute and disgruntled. And I was like, if nobody likes him, I'm going to put him on my dresser because I think he's kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie's in at five. Yeah, it might be a soapstone. The soapstone that I see is usually like a more of a gray. This is kind of like a cream. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Maybe that's what I should be for Halloween. Forget all the costumes I was thinking of. Maybe I'll just be a turkey. All right. Nina loves the weird cat, too. Nina's in at seven. Thank you. Yeah, you can definitely, I mean, it's definitely carved. You can see those carvings down here. So soapstone would make a lot of sense. I'm sure it comes in green. Bonnie's in at eight. Let's see. I get so sick of just like holding my hand in front of the screen. It's so nice to have a little stand. He can sleep in the flower. Kind of, sort of. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, Nina Lover's at 10. I love that you love this cat, you guys, because he made me so happy when I saw him. <laughs> Not so fast, Elizabeth. All right, Bonnie's at 11. You just never know what people are going to like. I just hope I pick stuff and hope that you guys like it too, you know? So when you actually do, it makes me very happy. I'm like, I do know what people like. Or... People do like what I like. A lazy Susan. That would be very convenient. That's not a bad idea because, um, like, when I'm showing stuff, when I move things away from the camera, the camera goes out of focus. If I just, like, rotated it and kept something at the same plane, it might stay in focus. I don't know. I want a mushroom, please. You're going to have to wait till next week. That was not for sale until next week. All right, going once to Bonnie. I'm artsy fartsy. I'm definitely half of that. Final warning. <laughs> and we are sold to Bonnie for 11. Thank you so much. Awesome. Pickers Warehouse TV. I'm, I'm going to write that down. When you guys tell me to check channels out, I do. TV. Okay. It is done. All right. Bonnie gets this guy. Cat. See this hat? It was my cat. Awesome. All right. And while I'm thinking about it, first of all, hit your thumb if you guys don't mind. Thumbs up if you're feeling like it. Thumbs up if you enjoy a little turkey song now and again. Also, if you want me to start you a box and hold it or a bag and hold it, if you don't have one already, let me know that too. You can tell me in the chat or you can shoot me an email. All right. Okay, sorry. Just go back to the chat. Ooh, there we are. Oh, okay. What else do we have tonight? Oh, we didn't do the turtles. Oh, no, we didn't finish palm stones either. We can still do these palms if y'all want. I won't, you know, do another big lot unless people want me to. But maybe a little mix. It's just easier to sell that way, to be honest. All right, so let's do like a, let's do a little mixed lot. Let's do it this way. And this time I will not add to it, okay? So whatever I put in there will be it. All right, so we've got black moonstone. This is the first lot. Black Moonstone. He's got a little shine on him here. Shine. Shine on me. All right, here's another uh, fire quartz. Not so fiery, but there he is. He's got a little flash in him, too. So do Moonstone, fire quartz. Let's throw this lab in there. He's got like this flat side. I don't know why. Will he stand? Nope. Sure doesn't. All right, so we got Moonstone, Labradorite, 
fire quartz. Let's do one more. Let's throw in this dude, the mystery stone, whatever he is. We'll go in there too. All right, so these four right here. Four for four. Starting bid four bucks on these guys. I hate Tom will miss the turtles, but he's in the message. So, I mean, we tried, right? We'll do the turtles after the palms. We'll give them another couple minutes. Stop. I know that one has really good flash to it. All right, Janine is at five. Nina Lover at six. Thank you guys so much for coming in tonight. I super duper appreciate it for real. For real. Also, let me got, ask you all a question. Oh, wow. Okay. Power bid. Cat D's at 12. My question is, would you attend a midday auction on a Wednesday? All right. Kristen's at 14. Janine's at 15. That's kind of an odd question. But, uh, Mr. Boo Boo. I know, right? Look at that blue. This is my favorite. That right there, that's my favorite Labradorite color. Like kind of tealy blue. I love it. Um, Mr. Boo Boo's thinking about starting to do four tens instead of five eights at work, which would free up one day during the week. Which means I might be able to get some an extra auction in during the week. That would probably be jewelry and other stuff, not crystals though. All right. Let's see. Cat D is in at 16. Yeah, those turtles, y'all. You already have one, Elizabeth. Don't be silly. I would after four. Which time zone? I know. See, I always try to do stuff at night, but there's a lot of competition at night. That's the only other problem. That's what I was thinking, like a late afternoon kind of thing. All right. Yeah, and day job problems. <laughs> right? I know. That reminds me. I got to message Rhonda. She invited me on to do a sniper auction on Thursday, but it's not going to happen. Going once to Cat D for 16. Going twice. <laughs> if I'm the only one there, start the bids low. You got it. Final warning. <laughs> but not crystals though you that's your internet i think that's your internet i don't think it's mine but it might be so you guys tell me if i'm freezing for you as well um yeah right i said i was thinking well mr boo boo is doing might be doing four tens instead of five eights at work so that may give me an extra day during the week to do auctions we're just in the discussion phase so we'll see Awesome. All right. Thank you, Cat D. I appreciate it. Nice lot. This one's 16 for the, we'll say, I guess I'll just say stone lot for those four. Okay. Next. All right, we'll do it again. Another starting bit of four bucks. Every other Wednesday is wound care. Okay. Well, I, I think that might be the thing. Is the day of the week that it is. I think he wants to do Wednesdays off. Evenings, honestly, it's probably going to end up being a later one. Kind of like this one. All right, Rose Quartz. Mystery stone, whatever the heck this is. Calcite with purple and pink. I feel very, like maybe it's a quartz, but I just really feel like it's not. I feel like it's calcite. Maybe it's quartz, but I feel like it's calcite. Mystery stone. Let's throw in another lab. And then for the last one, let's do, let's do this appetite. Appetite. It's just a very dark, very, very dark appetite. He's got a little pocket there, just so you know. A little ding a rooney right there. But there's the appetite. You know what? Let's throw one of these in there too. Throw in a pyrite. This little five stone lot. 
little pyrite that kind of looks like a golden hamburger. Golden hamburger pyrite. He also looks like a face. Look at his face. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that big old face. <laughs> Hi. Do you like stones as much as I do? Wow. You know what's cool? Me. <laughs> oh, I got to take his picture. He's got to go on Elroy's page. Oh, my gosh. This is the most rednecky, toothy grin. I've ever seen. All right, hold on. I did square up. Oh, come on, camera. Focus in the right place. Thank you. Can you see him? Can you see his big toothless grin? Oh, there he is. Ha! Someone stole my dentures, so you're just going to have to deal with my silly grin. Here's the bottom. Oh my gosh, I love when they have faces. <laughs> uh, did you really? I need a picture of that too. All right, I'm just looking back at the screen now. Needle lovers in at 22. For the hamburger, the golden hamburger, toothless grin, toothless Joe. For the hamburger, the golden hamburger. Well, that's a long title. Toothless Joe, the golden hamburger. Well, that's his name. All right, I think everybody's... Oh, nope. Cat D's in at 23. Who? I need my back cracked. Y'all, my back is killing me from yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Five hours of being hunched over tables. For real. It was intense. When I still... Like, I was... Once you, like, sit in a really horrible position for a while, you don't realize how awful it is until you go to stand up straight again. When I was done in there, I just, like, stood up to walk out of the building. I was just like... Uh, and I mean, I do walk, you know, straight here and there, but a lot of the time is bent over looking at stuff. It wrecks your back. Yes, <laughs> Uncle Leroy. That guy has issues. Is he like, I see Uncle Leroy is like being on your shelf and pointing out the flaws the rock on the shelf. Like, what are you looking at? You have a crack in a weird place. You have no room to judge me, is what he'd say. Look at this stone back here. So there's like an opal in the center there, and it is like glowing like crazy on the screen. That's kind of funny. He's bringing Bubblebee Bob down. Well, that's that's not good. That's really bad. Wants his own curio. <laughs> So demanding. I bet he wants one of those hoity-toity pillows to sit on, too. Like the sphere pillows. All right, going twi twice. I can talk. Final warning. And we are sold to Cat D for 23. Thank you. Thanks for everybody for bidding. All right. And last but not least, the last stone roll. Okay. Whew. <laughs> no one wants to be in the cabinet with him. Oh, in a spotlight. Oh my goodness. He's a diva. All right, here's the last one. This is going to be a starting bid of four again. Here we go. This is four of the rest of these, and we'll throw in a pirate too because I like them. Here we have a little Jasper, possibly Ocean Jasper. Maybe it's even, it might even be a Polychrome. That looks like Polychrome Jasper up there, but this looks like Ocean Jasper down here. It's definitely Jasper. And then we've got the other piece of that mystery agate. There's a face, right? Ooh, I dropped it. We got a face here too. This one's a little more abstract though. Do you see eye, eye, nose, and a little like smirk is what I see on that one. That, and then this guy, what are you? I don't know if this is, I think this is tourmaline just based by how 
opaque it is. I, I think this may be a, a tourmaline. It might be obsidian, but I think it's black tourmaline. We've got the fire quartz. He also has a little boo-boo there. And a weird polish spot. Ooh, he's got a little rainbow flash in him. That makes up for it. Fire quartz. And ruby and zoisite. And then we'll throw in another one of these pyrite pieces. This is for a lot of six stones. Ooh, Rashida's in at 16. Thank you. The alien face a little bit. All right, Mrs. Kojak's at 20. I think I'm thinking, I'm thinking really hard about going rock climbing tomorrow. <laughs> It's very random. I'm just thinking about like, what am I going to do tomorrow? What do you guys think? Have you guys gone rock climbing? We had like a community center. Or she does at 24. Mrs. Kojak said 30. Thank you guys. We had a, uh, a community center where I used to live that had a rock climbing wall. And I loved climbing that thing. But I haven't been in a really long time. But I am like working out now again and trying to build my strength. And I feel like it would be fun. So, I don't know. I'm considering it. I'm considering it. To get a day pass. She is at 35. They do have um, other stuff to do there, too. Like, they have, uh, what's it called? Like, a gym. So, they have, like, equipment and stuff. All right, Mrs. Kojak's at 40. Well, they have, it's like, what I'd be using is called an auto belay. It's basically, it's like a retractable thing. So when you climb the wall, you're attached to a harness, and then you're on the auto belay that always keeps you, you know, hovering. So if I fall, I don't get injured. That's part of the reason we have one, or there is one in Charlottesville, but it's uh, only like a 13-foot wall, and they don't harness you at all. So 13 feet isn't that high, but I'm thinking like if I climb to the top of this thing and fall from 13 feet, even if there's a pad, like I feel like I'm still going to get jacked up from that, right? I don't know. Maybe I'd be fine. So Nino a pyrite, is she yelling at me for one? I just want a little pyrite. Well, that's fine. We can, we can do that. We can do little pyrites. We can do, we, that's fine. We can do little pirates. You don't have to be mad about it. Let me see how much they were. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do pirates. We'll do, they can be two bucks. Two bucks for a little piece of pirate. Tonight's special. They should be like four or five, but we'll do it two dollars. Especially after Max Epic purchase. We can afford to go a little cheaper. Right? 13 feet is long. It was a long fall. I agree. Oh, rappelling. Just a little climbing. That's the funnest part, though, is the rappelling. <laughs> That's really what I'm looking forward to. But I'm really craving, like, climbing something. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. All right. If everyone's out, we'll call it for Mrs. Kojak. Yeah. I See? I'm glad you guys are on the same page. Unless maybe, like, it's like the type of mats that like movie people fall into when they fall from big heights. Rashida in at 50. Good grief. Thank you. That is, that's a heck of a bid. Thank you so much. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Mrs. Kochek. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. You repelled out of a helicopter? What do you do? You just hang there? What happens when you do that? All right, Rashida's out. Mrs. Kojak's at 55. Here we go. Going once. To Mrs. Kojak, going twice. Final warning. Okay. 
And we are so, thank you so much. Thanks for bidding, Rashida. All right. I've seen like the dudes that go and fix the power lines. <laughs> right, Carly? That's not for me either, but you know, teach their own. Not on the helicopter. All right. Here goes Mrs. Kojak's bag. All right. One. Okay. Thank you. Snaggle tooth pirate needs a friend. All right, let me let me go ahead and pull those suckers out in front of us really quick. Okay, here we go. I love these tumbles. All right. These are going to be randomly chosen though. Okay. Okay. $2. That is tonight's special. They will go up if there's any left after this. Let me know in the chat if you want one or two or three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I have 15, 14, 14 left. So if you would like a pirate tumble, do let me know. And I will take orders in the order they were received. And just grab it random. Carly wants two. You got it. All right. All right. Woo. Hold on. All right. Two, wait, wait, is this two? You want two total or just two, like you're claiming one? Let me know. Carly said she wanted two, right? So Cat D, did you want two or you just want one and you're claiming with a two? All right, Cat D wants one, you got it. To pirate. Okay, and the next was Mrs. Kojak who wants two. Okay, and then Karen, same question. Yes, we will. She'll she'll definitely have some. Let me know, Karen, if you wanted two or you just wanted one. Oh, you want two? Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. All right, two for her. You got it. Okay, and then Christina wants two. Or CC. And then Nina wants to. Nino, Nino, Nino. All the way to the top of my sheet of paper. Pirate. Okay. Ooh, almost took out my light. And then. Carly, we got Mookie Pookie, same question. <laughs> the under the bridge mayor. <laughs> oh, man. That's right. One stone at two. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. 
Mookie does not have a bag open. Okay, and did I get everybody? No, Babette is in for one of these. We only got one left. Dun, dun, dun. Did I get everybody? Okay, did I get everyone? Let me know. Okay. All right. I'm looking for that. Up. Okay. We got one lone pirate left. You guys let me know if anybody wants that one or if I missed anyone. Let me know that too. All right. Should we do the turtles tonight, y'all? If we do, oh, I totally forgot about these over here. Do we do them? Maybe we should wait. Maybe we should wait. They're so good. I love these. I don't mind that they stay on the table. So let's do the turtles. But we did spears. Kind of. We did the cat. We did the palms. We did the pirates. So turtle all that's left on the list. And we went out of order. And I'm sorry, guys. It just happened. All right. Here we go. They're the same size. We're going to do them for choice. And uh, these are starting at 22. These ones, unfortunately, are the pricey dudes. You know all about that lab is so pricey. So it'll be 22 for choice start. This guy's a uh, more Schiller and a lot of blue. There's his bottom. Not his bottom, but his bottom. His underside. Right, that's number one, and then this is number two. He's got kind of more like the stripey lab in him. On the top. There's his underside. I know there's some blue. Okay, I was like, where did that blue go? He has a little bit of blue, but you kind of have to get an extreme angle for that one. So that's all I got. Those are my last of the turtles. She needs a 25. Thank you. Not those, the stones I'm hiding on the right. What did you ask? I'm sorry. Can I buy that last pirate and have it sent to Gina? Oh, yes, Karen. You got it. I'll set that aside for her. Absolutely, you got it. Okay, now what, what are you talking about, Mookie? I'm sorry, not those, the stones hiding on the right. Are you reacting to that towards Elizabeth, I assume? What is it? We sure do, Mac. Are you talking about the clusters? The clusters? I have a fluorite over there and I have a quartz cluster. Okay, let me show you one more time and then we'll start calling it. There's number one. Oh, there's the bottom again. Okay, number one and then number two. He's the stripey dude. Stripey guy. Yes, I was. What you hide in there? I'll show you really quick. Maybe that'll be the last thing we show. All right, going once. To Janine for 25. Going twice. Final warning. And we are sold to Janine. All right, which one were you interested in? We'll call this guy number one. And this guy number two. One and two. This guy's like slightly taller. His shell's a little taller. 
That one's a little more flat and uniform. If that makes a difference to you, I don't know. But I thought I'd point it out. Which is my favorite? Ooh. That's a tough call. I like his bottom better, but I like his top better. And I guess because since you see the top more than the bottom, I'm going to say probably that one. So I would, that would be my choice. The Queen of Labradorite says number two is, is the better one. All right, he's got a fair amount of flash on him too. Don't, you know, don't discredit this guy. He's also flashy. Let's go with two. All right, you got it. Thank you so much. All right, turtle, lab turtle. You got it. You got it. Where's your bag? Oh, there is a one. All right, and then, oh, you want this guy? You got it, Carly. We'll get you the other one, no problem. All right, there those go. Sorry, Tom. Yes, Rashida, absolutely. This guy, this one was 38. Are you talking about this one? The hematoid one? That one's really good. That guy? You were so mean to him. <laughs> he needs a better owner. If this is the one, he was uh, 38. So just let me know if that's the one you're talking about. And yes, let me put bag on here. You got it. You got it. Nice call. Like this one is really nice. This will be much nicer in person than it is in camera. I like this one a lot. All right. Cool. It is really, really pretty. <laughs> I did sell them. Okay, let me do really quick these clusters for Mookie Pookie, and then we're going to call it a day. I don't even know what this one was priced at. This was my last piece of fluorite. That's cubic fluorite. And then there's a secondary growth on top of it, which I couldn't tell you what it is. But it's there. Some other kind of crystal. It's got a little druze on it. It's not super sparkly as such, but a little bit. And it's pretty. And it's more of a teal. Let me see. You know how my camera does. If I can get it close and show you a more accurate color. It's not blue. It's more teal. It doesn't want to behave. But it's a teal. It's a teal kind of color. And then this guy, which is my favorite thing, probably on the table. Which is this very, 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 very beautiful quartz. There's some needle quartz on the side there. So these are the, the two clusters I have on the table left. The fluorite and the quartz. Blue cheese gun sale. <laughs> there, that's kind of, that's a little closer to what it is. I love it. I think it's cool. Blue cheese or not. I like blue cheese. I know, right? Isn't it crazy that it does that? Cute, like, I don't know. All crystals to me are kind of weird, but the cubes are like extra strange. Pyrite does that too. All right, so those are those. Max, Mac wants you to send his box. Oh, yeah, no problem, Mac. <laughs> I might have to. I don't know how much I can fit in there with that big old quartz cluster. Send box. 
All right. Oh, prices. Good question. Do you have one in particular you want to look at first? Let me ask that. Maybe I'll just do the fluorite. I know you've been itching to get some fluorite. This one. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm at, this one will start, will start it at 30 if anyone's interested in it. My last piece, I'm probably on the low side to be quite honest, but maybe someone here will like it and then another person will like it and it will go up in price. We shall see. But again, last piece of fluorite. All right, Cat D's in at 30. Thank you. It's so cool. I love fluorite. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's beautiful. I have one small piece of it. It's probably like maybe half the size of this. And it's epic. Even though it's so small, I love it. It's purple. I have a little piece of like really dark purple fluorite. That's it. My big one, Mac has. <laughs> the last blue tower. How much have we said those things were? 25, I think. You're talking about this guy back here. The blue are fed tonight. This one's uh, 25. Ooh, for this one. If this is what you're talking about. That one's 25. Well, hold on now. Nina, Nina was the one who asked me about it. So let me uh, make sure that she doesn't want it. And if she doesn't, then we'll give it to Lindsay. Or we can open it up to a bid. Um, oh, okay. That's not a bid. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, whoa, 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 guys. <laughs> it was 25. So if you're interested, let me know. Oh, no, you guys are good. You're good. Thank you. All right. If no one else is interested in this fluorite, we will call it to Cat D and she will finally own a piece of it. Going once. No, you're good. You guys are good. I was just like, wait, wait, wait. Going twice. Oh, no worries. Final warning. And we are sold. Mookie Pook, are you dieting? Crazy girl. Awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you like it, Kat. I know you were looking for one of those bad boys. This one's a really good one. Just saying. All right, and lastly, all right, here we go. This one, I got to start this at 40. It's too good not to. This is a nice, nice piece of quartz. The crystals are very, very clean. It has little needle quartz on the side. It's got druzy on the side. It's beautiful. It's a really, really, really beautiful piece of quartz. Really clean, really clear, really gorgeous. Look at all those crystals. Look at that. Here's the bottom. There's actually a little tiny crystal pocket right there. <laughs> yes, Sally, it's still available. There we go. No carb. Oh gosh. I'm intermittent fasting right now. So I try to stop eating by like four or five. And then I don't have my coffee until generally like 8.30 or 9. The black round things behind this item. Black moonstone? Aww. Oh, is it, boo? You got it. Let me put that down. Aw. Congrats, Nino.
R4, and you know. You got it. Let me put it in the box. Okay. The glass. Oh, these guys. These are little glass, hand blown glass spheres. Some with a bowl, some without. 65 pounds on no carbon intermittent fasting. You you are the one who inspired me to do it again. I've done it before. But I'm telling y'all, I'm not losing much weight. But I am like working out my muscles too. So I'm thinking I'm kind of doing an even tray thing. But right, I'm down my path so far. Okay. They all so some are 40 and some are 45. The ones with the opals are 45. And then the ones without the opals are 40. I'll show you super quick. Let me show you. And they're all the backs are all different too. So this one is this one has an opal down there in the bottom. I wonder. I don't think we tried this before, did we? Do we decide that it was pointless? See, there's like a little round opal at the very bottom. These things have like this cool illusion going on where they just look like they tunnel down forever. So this one is a $45 one. This one is also a $45 one. Unless there's multiple interests and we'll do it a bid. This one is also 45. A little opal. This one is 40. No opal. And then this one is also 40. My personal favorite. So the love those. Best chat on YouTube, I agree. That reminds me, where's Maria at? I haven't seen her around tonight. Certainly keep you updated, purple. Oh, okay. What which one what what are you what are you doing? <laughs> which one are you doing, Mookie? All right. Thank you, Rashida. Uh, let's see. Best people in the YouTube universe. I concur. You guys have no idea. It really is. Truly, it really is. Yes, it is, Mac. Like, you guys did great. We did good tonight, y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it. What, did, Mookie, what are you doing? I missed it. Are you doing the keto thing? Is that why? All right, I'm going to flip this around super duper quick. I'm doing, like, a whole, like, kind of vlog thing on it, on the weight loss stuff. But I didn't want to, like, post anything until I had made some progress. So I was waiting to get down to 10 pounds. So hopefully that's going to be, like, right around the corner. It may even be this week, to be honest. I might hit that milestone, which would be awesome. I want the doctor two shakes in the middle of the day. I don't know about the shake thing. I don't think I could do the shake thing. I did fast before. I did a three-day water fast. That was, it was miserable while I was doing it, but I felt freaking awesome afterwards. Uh, it was rough. Three days without eating. That's a long time to go without eating. But afterwards, I felt really, really good. My husband did a five-day fast. Actually, he might have, I think he might have done a seven-day fast, too. He's done it a couple times. Alex. Oh, Alex program. Oh, yeah. Can, can you please let me know how that goes, too? I, like, I don't know. He's been successful with it. I follow someone on Instagram who's also doing it that they, I guess they know each other, and she's been really successful with it. I'm skeptical. But Pirate's doing it, too, and he's losing a fair bit of weight. I'm just like, what? But how? How are 
you doing it? Because <laughs> they don't want to divulge their secrets. So I'm skeptical. I'm naturally a skeptical person. Doing if, what is that? I'm 40 pounds, but while quarantine, I've gained back more than half. And that's the thing. You don't keep with it. And that's my struggle, too. Not my struggle, but like something I'm trying to be mindful about is making habits I can stick with. Because when you do something, Jack, who's Jack? Jack? Do I know Jack? When you do something that's like not sustainable, you're not going to keep the weight off. So you just keep that in mind, y'all. Whoever's out there dieting and trying crazy diets, remember, <laughs> you either have to go off them super, super, super gradually or you try something that's a little, you know. Oh, the lacquer nuts, Jack. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Is he losing weight too? Like has he been successful with it so far or has he just started? Okay. So I know him as Locker Nuts, not Jack. All right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Pirate, I've seen his pick. He's lost a lot. All right, good night, Babette. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Time to get my item to package. Oh, that's, I got to do that tomorrow. Except that I want to go rock climbing. So now I'm like, how do I balance all of this out? Um, yes, okay, cool. I'm going to have to go look. At, is he, like, how do you guys know? Is he talking about it on Locker Nuts or is he got, you know, an Instagram or something? He's one Jim. Yeah. See. At this cost, I'm held accountable. You know what I've done? I don't know where Jonathan is. Good question, Patty. Um, uh, Kat D, there's a chick on Instagram that's had a lot of success with it. She's lost like 65 pounds in the past few months. But she's also larger too, and that's also a factor. If you start at a higher weight, you lose quicker initially anyway. So that's another thing that I'm like curious about um, as far as like whatever that program is, if it's successful or not. But yeah, I, I've lost weight a couple times doing um, – like biggest loser style competitions. I did, I lost the most weight uh, after I had my first kid doing a biggest loser competition at work. I don't even remember how much I won, but I remember how much I lost. <laughs> and that it was a lot. It was like four, no, 40 pounds. Ultimately, I lost like 50 pounds because I was pretty, I was up there. And I was feeling amazing. And that's what I'm trying to get back to now. I'm going to look good doing it. Heck yeah. I agree. I agree with Elizabeth. But you know what? The other thing is like, if you're not happy with yourself, you kind of got to be happy with yourself, you know? I know no one is happy with how they look. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I was when I was at my healthiest in my I won't even say my thinnest. It was honestly just my healthiest. I just felt awesome. So that's what I want to get back to is feeling awesome. The looks is like secondary, but it's certainly a perk. Uh, but I just want to feel awesome again because I was like running. I was able to do a pull up. I can't do that now. I could actually do two pull ups. That's pretty good. Like from a dead hang to a pull up, I can't do that now. I'm pretty, I got some muscles. I got some muscles. It's not enough muscle to pull up all this though. <laughs> so we're getting there. We're getting back to that. And Janine, that's totally awesome. That's really what counts. I lost 75 pounds last year if you don't want to eat a hospital food for three months. Yeah, hospital food will make you lose weight, right? Especially that uh, Jello and liquids diet. Been on that a time or two. Yeah. Oh, bad knees. Yeah, they have like low impact equipment and stuff. But um, if not that weightlifting, some people can't, you know, really do much. Look at it all yawning now. Yeah. I'm thick, you guys. Tall and thick. Think Tyra Banks, but not as hot. <laughs> Listen, Tyra Banks wears a lot of makeup, okay? She's not that hot with all that off her face. Just saying. Don't give her that much credit. All right, y'all. I think I shrunk half an inch. Hey, that's that's not bad. 
that's pretty good. All right. I'm looking back up. I have one that needs replacing. What a knee. You need a knee replacement. Ugh. Yucky. Yes. All right. I'm going to bed. You guys have a nice night. Maybe I'll catch you in another auction in the chat. Um, thanks, Cat D. You too. I no, I guess I'll just be back on next week. I'm planning this week to upload the haul from the jewelry show yesterday. Also, I gotta do something for the 700 subscriber benchmark. Benchmark? What's the word I'm looking for? Whatever. Milestone, I guess. I don't know what word I was looking for, but milestone. <laughs> we'll use that one. Um, yeah, she's a supermodel. Okay. She used to be hot. She's old and needs makeup now. <laughs> we were all cute when we were young. Anyway. Um, thank you, Christina. Yes, milestone. Anywho, so I will be doing a giveaway for that at some point in time. Uh, I just haven't figured out what. But hopefully this week that video will be up. Maybe even the weight loss video will be up. If I get to that 10 pound mark. Beautiful, beautiful. The jewelry. Sorry, I read the word beautiful in the chat. I'm too old. Oh, I'm old too. Yeah, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope your guys' knees feel better. <laughs> That's all I can say. But we'll be thankful for the bodies that we have, even if they're not top notch. How about that? All right, y'all. I'm out of here. You guys have a nice night. Hopefully I'll catch you all in the chats. And if not, I'll see you here next week. Same time, same place. Have an awesome night. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And I'll see you all around. Bye, guys. Thank you.